Hi, guys. What's going on? Hi. Hello, hello, hello. I feel like, uh... I feel like tonight's a rain kind of night. What do you think? What do you think? Rain? Rain or is it nighttime? Hmm. What's it going to be? Rain or nighttime? What are we feeling? Rain? Do you have snow? I do, but it's summer. We can't have snow in summer. Voting rain, voting rain, rain, rain. Rain it is. Rain it is. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing tonight? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Thanks for being here. What is going on? My activity feed is still broken. There must have been in uh, uh, some sort of OBS update or stream elements uh, update that broke it. L literally can't. Yeah, the activity feed just don't work. Activity feed broke. Uh, but I did see that both Ofi subbed uh, for three months. Ofi, thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Sincerely. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Repro for the five years. I can't believe I've had a sub button for over five years. That's kind of like, that's crazy to think about, isn't it? That I've been, I've been doing content creation long enough. Five years. Holy shit. Torn, hello. How you doing? Hope you're doing fantastic. How you cute, Bumman? How you cute, Cloud? Hello. Ophi Nodders, of course. Oh, he's got a... I'll give, I'll give Ophi all the Nodders. Though it's more like bouncing. It's more like, this just feels like I'm bouncing. Which I guess is okay, too. Sussed? Why is it sussed? Huh? How do you not have, like, 30 million subs yet? Uh, I went on hiatus, and it took me a long time to figure out what I was doing. You know? I've only been doing VTubing for, uh, I'm coming up in two years. Coming up on two years of VTubing, uh, which is sick nasty. Really exciting, you know? Give you the bounces. How's that? Is that good enough for you? Bounce good? Hell yeah, Doobie. I have no idea you've been around for that long. Yeah. I started streaming in like, uh, God, what was it? Like June, May of 2017? May or June of 2017? Yeah, May, May or June or 2017, you know? Uh, three years of variety, stream slash speedruns, one year of uh, just Roy Zoga, and now like six months of Roy Chiato. No, it's only been two months. I've only been back as Roy Chiato for two months today. Yeah, two months as Roy Chiato. So that's actually kind of cool to think about, that it's been two months since I came back. Uh, and even then, I kind of dicked around with YouTube for a bit there, um, which I mean, paid off. YouTube seems like it's going right. You Pride Month as the new Benoit. Yeah, it's true, 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 true. Two month anniversary, something like that, you know. But hey, only two more months until uh, TwitchCon. Well, two months and change. Yeah, two and a half months. There we go. There we go, there we go. Hi, guys. Welcome in. I hope you're doing fantastic tonight. Thanks for being here. Uh, I didn't really have a big plan for tonight. I think we're just going to vibe. We're going to hang out, probably. Play some, maybe play some games. I haven't decided yet. Probably not. <laughs> I feel like it's just kind of a, a vibe and chat with chat kind of night. You know? I think it would be cool. It would be cool, maybe, to just vibe. <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight, though? Anything crazy going on? It's, uh... God, when is it today? It is Tuesday. Tuesdays used to be my Fridays. Not anymore. Keyshawn, hello! Vibing's nice. There you go. I do love vibing. Me, too. You know? We do love uh, bouncing and vibing and wiggling and wobbling and jiggling and joggling, you know? Always a good idea to just chill and vibe. Sometimes it's good to have, like, a catch-up kind of day, you know? I've got coffee brewing and I'm vibing with cassette beasts. Nice, nice, nice. I listen to one of my favorite jazz albums than classic Beatles album. Nice, nice, nice. Grand Blue. Beta came out recently. Ooh. I don't care too much about Grand Blue, but hey, I hope it's been fun. Having a beer and vibing? That sounds like my kind of night. Sounds like my kind of night. Yuri! Thank you so much for the follow. -in. Welcome in. Just got off work and now I'm chill. Let's go. We do love the chill vibes. Yeah, that's why we got the jazz plan. We got the uh, the tunes rocking, as it were. Yeah, work was uh, work was an interesting experience today. 
Uh, not nearly as bad as yesterday. I'll tell you that much. So, Tekken 8 as well. I haven't played that. I haven't either, because it's a closed network test, isn't it? Isn't it? Conf, you have my attention. Sadly, I just finished my cuppa. Oh, no. We got to get you another one, then. All right, where's Tekken 8? Tekken 8. Isn't it? Yeah, it's still... I thought it was. Pretty sure, but I think people found keys for it online. I mean... I want to play it, but I'm like, I've like not been in a fighting game mood. You know what I mean? I've been like, I've been deep in the throes of League recently because I just really want to get out of Iron. You know what I mean? I just really want to get out of Iron. Really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. I'm just stuck there. I'm just freaking stuck. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's been, um, it's actually been kind of fun grinding out League uh, and trying to improve there uh, and, and, and playing when I can. Oh, no, man, I get it. I ain't doing much of anything except dailies and Unite. That's the thing. So, like, I still haven't finished FF16. Uh, not 14. Well, I still haven't finished uh, N Walker for 14 either. But, like, yeah, I just, I don't know. Like, my attention span has just been gone. And I've been putting so much time and effort into, like, the, the stuff that's coming up. Uh, the stuff that's coming up soon, TM. You know what I mean? Started playing Elden Ring again? Bro, I haven't even played Elden Ring. <laughs> I got like... I got like two bosses into Elden Ring and then I ducked out. I got super overwhelmed playing Elden Ring. I was watching... I was watching uh, Sif play Elden Ring today. Because uh, Sif had her... Uh, her new uh, model outfit debut. Uh, with her being more on a uh, villain arc. Looks super cool. Looks great. Looks sexy. Looks stylish. Looks sleek. What's what? What's actually? What's the SSS in D DMC? Is it sexy, stylish, suave? Sexy, stylish, savage? I can never remember what the SSS is. Whatever it is, that's what Sith was today. Sexy, stylish Sith. There we go. Smoking sexy style. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. There we go. I knew I knew sexy was in it, and I thought style was in it, but I thought it was stylish. But whatever. Hey. We take it. We take it. No, it's great. Uh, but I was watching her play Elden Ring, and she's fighting the boss, and she's like, oh, Roy, I know you've beaten this already. And I'm like, nah, homie, I, I give up. Like, I, I got so freaking overwhelmed. Have you guys ever had that feeling where you're, where you're playing a game, and you just have, you have so many options that you end up overwhelmed with choice that you end up not wanting to do anything? Because you're like, at least like, Dark Souls, like, 1, 2, and, and 3, there's, like, you have to go to certain places to unlock other places. Whereas Elden Ring was very much like, here's your horse, go find graces, go, have fun. Umbrella, thanks for the follow. Yeah, it's, it, it just, it hit me. We love a no focus for long games. I don't, I don't like that, though. I like there being a long focus, or a, a focus for long games. Um, or at least a focus, like, to start. Like, like, railroad me for, like, the first couple of hours, and then let me go. You know? Yeah, Breath of the Wild did that to me, too. I was like, I just don't care. I just don't freaking care. <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom spoilers has been rough. I just don't care. I know, it's, I know it's, like, such a moot thing to say, but, like, Tears of the Kingdom did not interest me in the slightest just because I didn't like Breath of the Wild. So, I know blasphemy. I'm not, a, I'm not a Breath of the Wild fan, because everyone and their brother was playing Tears of the Kingdom, and I'm happy that people were happy, but man. League of Legends again today? I don't think so. Unless I really feel like doing, like, solo queuing. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. If, if we get to, like, the half hour, 45 minute hour mark, and I'm, like, I'm, like, bored, I don't feel like doing anything else, maybe I'll hop on a League again. Tears of the Kingdom's miles better than Breath of the Wild. Uh, I still want to play both a lot. I enjoy Breath of the Wild a lot. I just get easily overwhelmed. All right, so here's the thing. Because I see Repro mentioned that Tears of the Kingdom is miles better than Breath of the Wild. None of the issues that I had with Breath of the Wild, though, got fixed. So that's, that's kind of that's the issue. It's like Tears of the Kingdom is just a better Breath of the Wild, but like still the same skeleton. Lavender, thanks for the follow. Hi, Roy. Was it wet outside? It's raining. Huh? Rain is wet. Rain makes things wet. I got that definitely. I got that. Uh, I really want a traditional Zelda again. That's what I mean. Like, they don't, they don't have... I'm not saying, like, recreate Ocarina of Time or, you know, Link to the Past or, like, Wind Waker or anything like that. Um, but 
I don't know. I'm I'm kind of done with open world games in the sense of like I'm just overwhelmed. Like I dropped Elden Ring, I dropped Breath of the Wild. I just my I just I don't have the capacity. Ghost Hat, welcome in. I don't have the capacity. Like my my brain is just like mush. You know? Brain is just mush. Which I guess, speaking of, the Oracle games are out on Nintendo Switch. Uh, of course, very mature and named my hero Taint. Ah, perfect. Lazu! Hello. I want to take a guess. 2.0 theme is going to be coffee common themed. You think so? Do you, do you, Lazu. Lazu, do you, Lazu, do you, do you think I'm cute enough to pull off a, a common writer? Hmm. You think I could handle a common writer? I could take a common writer. In a fight. I know I saw your homework folder. Oh, I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you saw all the research. Yeah, all the all the research. <laughs> hey, soy boy, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, do you have soy milk available? Of course, of course. We gotta have the milk uh, substitutes. You know what I mean? It was girthy. Damn right. I always do my research. Always make sure to have the most ample research available and possible. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You gotta you gotta make sure that you do your research. I actually want to zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Not like the super zoom, but just enough. You know. Just enough. That way you guys can see me. See a little bit more into my eyes. A little bit more into the details. Miku, hello. Welcome in. I hope you're doing fantastic. Of course, of course. I can handle open world uh, if I feel engrossed with the world to the point I actively want to explore and learn more lore, uh, etc. That's the reason I'm going back to Elden Ring, but I haven't beaten a GTA game, for example. I've never played a GTA game. Like, forget beaten. Like, the only time I've done GTA was, like... A multiplayer for San Andreas, I think. Or like you could just plug in a player two and just do random missions. You know? Dumb question, Roy. Can you go behind the counter like before? Uh, or is this background not layered? Well, you see, you know, that's a that's a cool question. Of course I can go behind the counter. I just don't. You know? I do have it layered that I could. If I, if I so choose. I ended up not really like using it as much. Because like uh, the cafe content that I wanted to do. Kind of went into a different direction. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. Because like so, sometimes I like I would want to go back there. And, and make sure. Sweet hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, little Luca. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. I played a lot of single player for GTA. And I think four in HS. HS. Oh, high school. I was like, what is that? What is HS? Damn. <laughs> uh, I finished one game on the Switch now. I don't know what to play next. I should probably play some more Switch games. I still haven't played Mario Odyssey. I also wish that I had the Mario collection, the 3D Mario collection. Because like I've played Super Mario 64 and I've played Sunshine, but I've never played Galaxy 1 or 2. And Galaxy 1, I know, is at least on that collection and there's no way else to play that like updated you know Raskatep, thank you for buying a cup of coffee for th oh four months for three months in a row thank you odyssey is so good i have it it's somewhere it's it's in boxes or or whatever tom holland hello big fan big fan you know <laughs> new open world the triple a title actually i hate it here i absolutely hate it here i actually don't know if there's any like I'm trying to think of, like, the next games that are, like, really exciting to me. But I think it's, like, clustered in October, November. Um, which is kind of, kind of saddening that it's all, like, October, November. Because, like, I'm going, to, I'm going to TwitchCon, as, as, as many of you may know. Starfield and Baldur's Gate. So Baldur's Gate, luckily, I own already. But I don't think I'm going to play that on stream unless other people, like, want to invite me. So, like, hey, if you want to play Baldur's Gate with me... Invite me to play Baller's Gate. I don't think I'm going to stream it myself. There's just too many cutscenes and too much crap to get through. I'll get too invested and not talk to chat for hours on end. But if you want me to play and role play and treat it like D&D, &D, invite me to your Baller's Gate. I'll voice act. I'll play my character. I'll be a silly little guy. Yes, that's me. Roy, a silly little bun. Yeah, absolutely. 
I'd like to play it. That'd be hype. It's true. That'd be awesome. I mean, if people want to play it with me, that's the thing, you know? Hello, Jace. What's up? My older brother uh, keep telling me to play Smash, and I want to play that. Yeah, Smash is like... Huh. I go, I go back and forth between like absolutely freaking loving Smash and absolutely freaking hating Smash. Um, I don't know where my GameCube adapter is. I don't know where my GameCube controller is. So even if I wanted to play Smash, I pff, no idea. Pff, I got no clue. I'm gonna hit Roy's head. That costs extra. What's up, FMA Brotherhood? Well, I like Smash when I'm winning. Honestly, fair, fair point. My, uh, my big issue with Smash is that the online is a terrible experience. There's so much input delay. The net code is a joke. You know? Shout out. Beyond hype for new FF7R stuff and Dragon's Dogma 2. True! Is Dragon Dogma 2 this year? Hmm. Even when I played Tekken? I didn't know you played Tekken, Lazu. Or maybe I did and I forgot. I'm stupid. You know, all, all, of my, all of my brain cells went to my ass. That's why my ass is so fat, you know? Or, or thighs. You know, take, take your preference. That's why I play Mario. <laughs> Lag doesn't matter to him. <laughs> Damn, no more Incineroar Roy. I mean, I would. If I play Smash, I'll play Incineroar or I'll play Terry. You know what I mean? Ascari, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Uh, hyper Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Oh, right. I do want to play that. Coming out this month, in fact, this August. Uh, bomb Rush Cyberfunk. August 18th. How how expensive is it? If it's not if it's not very expensive, then I will scoop it. Maybe bomb rush, cyberfunk. There's no price yet, and it comes out in two weeks. Huh? It's not sixty. I know that. Yeah, but that means it could be seventy. Oof. Is your last name pronounced Keanu or Keanu? Keanu. It's Keanu. Uh, Keanu like a macchiato. But if you say Chiato, I'm not going to yell at you. Absolutely. How do you feel about Mortal Kombat 1? I'm going to be real. I'm, I'm real underwhelmed. Like, looking at Mortal Kombat 1, like, all right, so I love fighting games. I'm a big fighting game aficionado. You know? I freaking love fighting games. But, 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 Mortal Kombat lost me after Mortal Kombat 10, which was like, when did Mortal Kombat 10 come out? That wasn't a decade ago, was it? Mortal Kombat X. Damn, that was eight years ago. That was over eight years ago. Oh, okay. So, the last time... The last time that I played Mortal Kombat, like legitimately, was Mortal Kombat 10. I I loved the the concept of like passing the torch and like new generation of Mortal Kombat characters, which it feels like what they're doing with Street Fighter 6. And I freaking love it. You got Jamie, you got Kim, you got Luke. These new characters are very much taking center stage, and everyone loves them. You know? And having the classics there is fine too, but like even the story set up for like these new characters like to take the take the reins. And everyone loved Mortal Kombat 10. Story was super well received. Gameplay was great. Freaking loved that. I had three characters that I could play. At least I think. Was Smoke in 10? I actually don't remember. Was Smoke in 10? I know Kung Jin and Reptile were. Those were my two mains in 10. Were Kung Jin and Reptile, and I played Smoke in Mortal Kombat 9. But, but being the emphasis, but. No, he wasn't? Okay, okay. Uh, last one Smoke was in was 9. I know he's in Mortal Kombat 1 now. But, so, Smoke, Kung Jin, not Kung Lao, Kung Jin, and uh, Reptile were my mains. And then Mortal Kombat 9, obviously, you know, we had Reptile, we had Smoke. Not Kung Jin. Mortal Kombat 10, we had Reptile, we had Kung Jin. Great, no Smoke, that's okay. Mortal Kombat 11 didn't have any of them. And it turned very much into a slower-paced game with a lot more projectile and zoning focus. And it felt like, it felt like Injustice. And it's, it's one of the reasons why I fell out of Injustice. It's because, like, I, I loved uh, Injustice. 
you know? Um, I, I, I freaking loved Injustice 1, but it was, it was hard. And Mortal Kombat 10 was super fun. The run mechanic was great and everything like that. But Mortal Kombat 11 slowed everything down. Mortal Kombat 11 slowed super down. And I've been watching Mortal Kombat 1 gameplay, and it's slower than Mortal Kombat 11. So I'm kind of like, um, I don't know, man. And there's no reptile. And there's no Kung Jin again. But they're bringing Takeda back. You know, can't get into the NRS style of FGs, honestly. It's, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've been having such a hard time getting into them. They're going to fix it? Great, if they do. But I, I, I don't have the money to, like, take a risk on a fighting game. The reason I took such, like, a nosedive risk on Street Fighter VI is because I played the betas. Like, I played the crap out of the betas. And I was like, this is going to be a good game. And Mortal Co or, um, uh, Street Fighter VI, that's a good game. And I'm excited for Ed, you know? Thought Kung Jin was in since I saw his hat. That's Kung Lao. Kung Jin is the one with the staff, who is Kung Jin's or Kung Lao's uh, ancestor, or like descendant, I should say. Yeah, that's Kung Lao. Uh, so that's that's a big thing. Is is I I felt like I lost the characters that I wanted to play. One sec. Okay. But, so that's the thing. Uh, playing Man on, I'm waiting for Vega or Akuma. Well, Akuma's definitely coming, but that's next year. Um, I've been playing Jamie. Uh, Lils, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Sky Bits, I see you. Wait, what is that emote? Is just a love gun? Also, I don't know Reptile and MK11 or MK1 so far. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, Reptile's like a classic. You know? Kung Pao. Hi, Crafty. I hope you're doing well. It doesn't help that the game needs a mortgage nowadays before buying one. Yeah, if they're 60 to $70, like, I don't have that kind of money. You know? Kung Jin is the cousin of Kung Lao. One of the two. I, they, they're related somehow. You know? There's still a chance that Reptile is going to appear. I hope so. I like Reptile. I thought it was always really cool. You know? Anyone got one mil points for Reptile to appear? <laughs> I want to get back into Guilty Gear. I gave Guilty Gear a shot, too. Um, I don't know if you guys were here for that. that God, that was forever ago. I, I, gave, I gave Guilty Gear a legitimate try. I gave Guilty Gear a legitimate try. You know what I mean? I've been hearing the entire Hanzo situation in MK1. Hatori Hanzo? Like Scorpion? Hmm? Hey, Zeplander, welcome in. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't been keeping up with Mortal Kombat too much, though, unfortunately. Nice to meet you in chat. How are you all? Doing well. Hey, Roy. Just wondering, uh, what is your favorite kind of coffee and food? Food. Ooh, good question. Um, I, I really like sweets. You know? Um, sweets are a big thing for me. Sweets are definitely a big thing for me. Um, I love sweets. Uh, carrot cake is one of my favorite things to make uh, and eat. Um, in terms of coffee, I don't have, like, one specific... I don't have one specific type of coffee I really like, but dark roasts, really good. French roast, Italian roast, lots of good stuff. Ethiopian blends. The dark roasts always feel like they have more uh, flavor to me, you know? I was really cool. It was really cool watching you play Street Fighter V. I don't usually watch fighting game stuff. Why am I like playing Street Fighter V? Did I play Street Fighter V on stream? Is the Bun Bun vegan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Omnivore. Omni. 
My man, dark roast and French roast here. A lighter roast, uh, if they are specialty coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause like, I don't, I don't dislike any any blend of coffee really. Uh, don't love amaretto. Don't love amaretto flavor. Amaretto sours slap, but amaretto as a flavoring, don't love. I think that's the only one that I'm like, eh. You meant six? Okay, okay. I was confused. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, 23. Thank you so much for the uh, follow. Welcome in. My immersion. <laughs> Why do you think I have these fangs? You know? Why do you think I have the fangs? If not to chew up meat. You know? Carnivorous bunny? That's me. You can tell I don't keep up with fighting games. Hey, listen, it happens. Fangs, huh? Yeah. I gotta... I gotta Pretend I can defend myself or something stupid like that. It's your man eating bunny from Monty Python. I still have not seen that one. I still have not seen that movie. I, I legitimately still have not seen it. I know like a lot of people like yell at me. They're like, have you not seen that? Have you not seen Monty Python or the Holy Grail? Like what the frick? I'm just like, homie, I got the time. You know, I'm binging through uh, suits with my friends right now. It's on Netflix, you know, not my streamer anymore. Man. All right, you know what? I have a surefire way to get you back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How's that? Did that? Did I sell you on it? Did I sell you on staying here? I saw I haven't seen it either. You're not alone. Let's go. Yeah, we got the wiggles. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Were you selling on your streams just being here? Curious. Thank you. That means a lot. Thank you. I really appreciate you saying so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, it's been fun. Um, I feel like even even though like today wasn't as shitty of a day as yesterday was, I feel like it's still kind of like a low energy. Like we just vibing. We just hanging out kind of day. So I enjoy being in this cafe while I game playing Blood Bowl. Hot damn. I'm not familiar with what Blood Bowl is, but I hope you're enjoying yourself. That sounds like a good time. It sounds like you're enjoying yourself. Hopefully. Hopefully that is. I, I, I certainly do hope so. Damn, I, still, I, was, I was looking at my open tabs in Chrome. I still can't believe Mortal Kombat 10 came out in 2015. God. It turns 10 soon. It turns 10 in less than two years. Absolutely need vibing energy this week. Social batteries in the garbage. I think my brain's just been in the garbage. It's been... It's been one week. No. <clears throat> it came out when I graduated. How? Hmm. That reveals too much. No. I was about to say, I was thinking about what I could say there. But uh, I, was, I was definitely an adult when Mortal Kombat 10 came out. Recently finished uh, Death Stranding. Still haven't played that either. I do want to pick that up on Steam, though, at some point. I'm waiting for, like, a big sale. Power Rangers is turning uh, 30. Yeah, yeah, this month. Uh, August 3rd? When is Power Rangers Day? I always forget. Power Rangers Day. August 28th. Why do I think it was August 3rd? Yeah, it is. It's this month. Shwee! Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Yeah, it turns uh, 30 this month, and uh, Cosmic Fury comes out soon. Wait, when does Cosmic Fury come out? Cosmic Fu Fury? When does it come out? Fall. Is that October? Shwee! Hello. Hi. I don't know if I've seen you around before. That's a really cute emote. Oh, I like that. I like that wave. <gasps> you got a little flower in your hair? That's so cute! Doesn't that stranding have, like, hour-long cutscenes? Yeah, it's Hideo Kojima. I'm not even remotely surprised. Which, speaking of, uh, part of the reason why I'm really excited for uh, Huzuma What's It... Uh, Metal Gear Solid Delta or MGS3 Remake Delta, you know. Uh, Power Rangers in August. Well, Power Rangers Day is in August, but we still have until like October for the next season. Uh, Gotchard in September. Shin Kamen Rider just came out. I did see that I have the ability to watch Shin Kamen Rider now, uh, which makes me happy. So I'll definitely be watching that. I'm hyped for the MGS3, MGS3 Remake as well. I'm trying to think of like what else. I have a love-hate relationship with Kojima. Yeah, I'm, um... I don't know. It's real good, man. I plan on watching it. Don't... 
don't get it twisted. I plan on watching it, Crafty. I'm I'm pretty behind on uh, Common Rider, obviously. Uh, I only just started the Heisei era like this year. Uh, I've seen Kuga, Agito, and Ryuki. I'm about halfway through Fies right now as well. Hey there, Doc. Yeah, that's Crafty. That's our favorite mad scientist. We love him. Uh, man, I haven't touched Power Rangers since like late 2021 or early 2022. It got better. Uh, Power Rangers Dino Fury uh, had a rocky start, in my opinion, but I think the last half of season two of uh, Dino Fury felt like it was from a completely different writing team or of like from a different, like a team like let loose. You know what I mean? Get the W. That one is. <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I get to double. Yeah, when I get to Kamen Rider double. Yeah, because then I can watch uh, Fut Futopi. Futopi. The anime version of it. I want to watch that. I listened to the opening. I was I was pretty happy about that, you know? It's like F-U-U-T-O space P-I. Double is goaded. I've heard nothing but good things. I like the suits. The suits for double are freaking awesome. Yeah, exactly, Tokoro. Yeah, Depo watched the live first, then anime. Of course, of course, of course. I, I have this... I have the opinion, depending on the, the franchise, it's like... Watch, watch the things that came first. So like, like Star Wars, you've got the two orders. I think it's better to start with the originals than prequels than sequels, personally. Because watching them in order, that's, there's so many things that's like, that doesn't make sense. Because like they didn't plan, you know, 30 years in advance, 40 years in advance. You know, they weren't, they weren't really thinking about it. They weren't, they weren't really thinking about all the, all the crap that would happen. Now count of your sins. Oh no. Open your eyes for the next fies. Hi, Akami. We're just talking about Common Rider. You're just on time. Hi, welcome in. That's one of our favorite snakes right there. Wait, didn't did I see art of you on Twitter? Like today? Akami? Did I see art of you on Twitter? Probably. I like snacks. Snacks good. Gotcha RB looking hype. The suit looks cool. I think I saw Art of You on Twitter today. Unless it was yesterday. I'm having a hard time. Snakes are adorable. We do love snakes here. We love a comment here. Just let you know. Just let you know. <laughs> Just let you know. In case, in case you didn't know that you were loved, a comment. In case you needed some extra, you know, some, some extra loving today. Regardless, I appreciate you being here. Guys, uh, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Happy Tuesday. Uh, happy Tuesday. Anything uh, crazy happening? I keep like looking down. I'm like trying to like fix something on my hand. Like, I have to keep putting this like ointment on stiff. Gotta gotta fix these blemishes on my hands, you know. Sometimes you want to. Where's the fucking cap? I've been I've been on like a self improvement kick, you know, like of of like everything about me, you know. Includes apparently putting shit on my hands to make them better, too. I've got, like, leftover crap from when I did parkour. My hands are all effed up, you know? Uh, am I about to get... Oh, God, hold on. I gotta, I gotta scroll up for that. I saw... I saw Crafty. Yeah. Am I about to get back into my card-collecting addiction because of Gotchard? Maybe. Absolutely. I spent 25 minutes on Taco Bell drive through tonight. Is that crazy? Was it worth it? If the Taco Bell was tasty, that sounds like it was worth it. I'm still on Ichigo and Black. I should watch a few episodes of Black tomorrow. I liked Black, but I only saw some of uh, Showa era. I saw Ichigo, uh, V3, X, and then Black and Black RX. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait. V3, then X. Yeah, yeah, V3, then X. I did not watch Amazon. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I, I needed to skip to the end because I was like, I really want to watch Heisei. Moisturize for the next fives. Exactly. Stroop. Screw Pokemon card packs. Gotcha card packs. There you go. It was okay. It wasn't terrible. All right. Well, at least if you didn't feel like you wasted your time, then, you know. Amazon. Yeah, one of those. <laughs> Always a good time to improve. I mean, this is just like cosmetic stuff. I'm, I'm very much of like the mindset. Like if you don't like something about yourself, change it kind of thing. I've I've always been of that mindset. Like, hey, I wish I could lose a little bit more weight. I don't think I'm fat. I just like working out sometimes. You know, I like busting a sweat. Especially in the summer. I don't know why. When when you're like working out inside, 
and you sweat and then you step outside into the heat. Sometimes it feels good. It's almost like a sauna, but like not a, not a shitty sauna. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, the workout grind's been fun. Uh, I'm trying to slowly adjust my sleep schedule too, uh, which has not been going well. <laughs> Because <laughs> normally I'm a night owl, so I stay up really late. But then uh, the issue is, is like I end up sleeping too long, and I want to wake up sooner so I can work out in the morning and then get my day going from there. And oh, I guess I can mention this: I'm on a new uh, work schedule now, slightly. Uh, I don't have Fridays off, or I don't have Wednesdays off anymore. So today is basically my Thursday. Uh, tomorrow is my Friday. Uh, so Thursdays and Fridays are off now. So that is, uh, that is a fun piece of, uh, news to share. You know, I get to, uh, hopefully wake up and do some workouts. Anybody else on their own workout journeys? I know I've been, uh, doing more of those posts lately. I'm glad to see more people have been like, yeah, pump that iron, get that sweat in. <laughs> it has been a good time. It's been a good time. I want to get back into the gym. Absolutely. Always a good time. I'm working out how to stuff a pizza in me. I actually wanted to have pizza today. And, and then I just didn't. You know, I, oh, I actually was good. Uh, I made eggs and rice and vegetables. That was my, uh, that was my like big meal for today. I have, I've been pulling back on the chicken nuggets. Ooh. Are you saving some of them for me? Are you saving some of them for me? I could use some chicken nuggets. I want to start doing cauliflower crust pizza. Ooh, that sounds good. Is it like, is it healthier? Is cauliflower crust like healthier? I've been doing my best to lose weight by eating less and exercising more. The eating less has actually been helping me already. So like I'm done eating for the day. So even though I'm streaming and it's only like 940 for me, um, I can, uh, what's it called? Go, I can be done with stream and then not need to eat. So, I think it has potentially more protein. Oh, I mean, if you say so. Check it out, guys. I gotta make mine from scratch again. That sounds tasty, too. I've had, can confirm, is good. Take your word for it. I'll take your word for it. I can't say I've ever had a uh, cauliflower crust. Yeah, that's a new one for me. It's absolutely a new one for me. Mm, mm, mm. I think I was talking to uh to Junk about this recently too. Uh, if you guys don't know Junk, he's also been on uh a bit of a workout uh craze. Though he's he's been on it a lot longer than I have. Uh, but he he definitely gives me like a lot of good tips and things like that for like food and just staying in shape and 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 things like that. And um, uh, we were we were kind of lamenting uh about this like a couple days ago, where like. Eating healthy is somehow more expensive than eating like crap. You know, like you can do like all the meal prep in the world and like get a bunch of stuff. But like sometimes it's just cheaper, like it's cheaper to buy that pre-prepared meal. You know, and we were just like, it, it literally does not make sense that some of these options for like, yeah, junk food being cheap, like. What the frick? I don't understand. Like I could, I could order McDonald's right now and have a meal for the next two and a half days. And it would cost me like the same amount that it would cost me to eat for like a day and a half. That doesn't make any sense. How? 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 I also always feel like organic food is uh, a little bit of a scam where they're like, hey, bananas are 99 cents. Hey, organic bananas are $6. And I'm like, oh, homie. I'll skip on the bananas this week. That's how they get you to spend more, probably. Maybe. I can go to Taco Bell and it's like $4. I can cook for five. Yeah. It's like, but that's, that's the shitty thing is like as, as normal food costs go up, so does fast food. So like it used to be like you could get like a biggie bag from like Wendy's or something for like five bucks. And now the biggie bags are like 10 bucks. And I'm like, still good, still good value. But homie, like, why is it so expensive to eat? everywhere now i hate it forgot about their place in this world no one has mcdonald's money anymore honestly honestly hey luma 
It's because frozen vegetables are so damn expensive. Heck, any vegetable is starting to get pricey. That's the crazy thing, right? Like, I want to eat more vegetables. And, like, anytime I put them in my grocery cart, it's like, hey, you want this frozen thing of vegetables that, like, goes for, I don't know, maybe three meals, four meals? It's like, all right, 10 bucks. I'm like, homie, that's a lot. That's a lot. Hello, Sapphire. Hello, Kai Donaldson. Welcome in. Hi. No, I hate it. Uh, I hate it. I think, I think eventually it would probably even out to be cheaper still than eating in fast food all the time. But then there's the time to prep everything, you know? Wait, how that's expensive AF? That's what I'm saying. Like, it sounds like it would be expensive AF, like on paper, you know? The frozen veggies when they're on sale. That's usually what I do. I have, I have a bunch of stuff in the, uh, the, the freezer right now. Yeah, that's when I stock. Yeah, that's when I stock up too. I've got like a whole bunch in the freezer right now. Nah, just big, big, big vibe and big, uh, big chilling on those vegetables. You know? Um, yeah, eating, eating healthy has sucked. I've been, I've been like trying to like, if, if anything, just eating less has been like the saving grace. Cause like junk's big thing was like, Hey, like be willing to go to bed hungry. Cause you can eat when you wake up and that's great because you'll burn that energy throughout the day, but don't eat before you go to bed. And like really pace it out and everything like that. Drink more water, which I'm drinking some right now. Ah, I'm new here. I must say your hair is glorious. Thank you. I appreciate that. If I could build a greenhouse and get some dirt boxes, then I'd love to grow my own vegetables. I know a couple people uh, that do that kind of thing. You know, I know I know a couple people that are like really big into to growing their own stuff. Uh, Luca Jin. I know is one of them. She has like her own uh, vegetable garden, you know, which had the space for that. My new apartment, I definitely don't. I have plenty of space for other activities, not for growing things. You know, is that a bun? It is. Hello, Jex VTuber. Also, Yagi, thanks for fixing my hair. I appreciate you. Uh, the only sustainable way to eat healthy is to get stuff in bulk and freeze when you can. Mostly chicken, whatever green vegetables are on sale and huge bags of white rice. Buy any nice healthy food. It but any nice healthy food is going to cost you real dollars. I hate it. Yes. And that is what Junk and I were complaining about. Because, like, when you start looking into, like, what the most effective diets are, they're like, yeah, have, like, a piece of fish with, like, red lentils and, like, a kale salad. And I'm like, homie, it's, like, 10 bucks for a bag of kale. It's, like, 7 bucks for a piece of fish. You know, and the lentils don't even get me started. It's ridiculous. Yeah, seeing Lucas Garden streams made me think about it. Going around my house is too rocky to do it normally. I get that. I get that. No, it's just a pain in the ass. It's a pain in the ass. Everything is too damn expensive. Everything is too damn expensive. If we, if we get to the point where it is cheaper to eat out, like, every meal, so be it. But, like, at least give me some, like, better alternatives. You know? It's honestly damned if you do, damned if you don't. I think, I think what we were saying before, I think what Luma and uh, uh, Akami were saying, uh, you, you buy in bulk and freeze. And like, that's, this is how you have to do it. So like, hey, chicken's on sale, buy a bunch of it and freeze it. Hey, vegetables on sale, buy a bunch of it and freeze it. Hey, rice is on sale, buy a bunch of it and... Well, don't freeze it because that's weird. You know, from what I know, it's cheaper to eat out in Japan uh, than cook in. Yes. So that is that is where I was getting a Uh It is uh, from what I understand, too, at least from when I was there. Uh, it seemed that way. Like even walking into a combini and grabbing like, I don't know, a beer and like a sandwich, you know, or like a discount bento box. You know, they're 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 way, way less expensive than buying your own ingredients consistently, which I did find out. Um, even when I was in Hong Kong, it felt like that, uh, that it felt cheaper to eat out than it did to go and buy small things of groceries, which like I would try and buy like breakfast food that way I didn't have to eat out for breakfast all the time. And eventually it was like, damn dude, like <laughs> it's just all worth it. Make a fast food menu that is on the healthier side. Anything with grilled chicken or turkey. Well, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Cut out, cut out the fried, uh, anything. Cut out the fried anything and you're, you're pretty much golden. However, and here's where I get a little bit, uh, I get a little bit uh, contradictory, contradictory. So while I, I, I am very much a big proponent of like eating healthier, if you're eating like fast food, 
in my opinion, fast food should be indulgent food. You know what I mean? I'm not eating fast food for trying to be healthy. If I'm if, if I'm going to like you know salad works, sure I, I'll have salad works. And I'll have a salad. I'll try and make it relatively healthy because I went to salad works. But if I'm going to McDonald's, I'm not getting a salad from McDonald's. I'm not like you know I'm not I'm not adding a, an extra thing of lettuce pretending that it's you know healthy. I mean indulgent, just like just like dessert. I ain't doing it. Absolutely flabbergasted. My favorite quick meals while I was in the army uh, was getting those bags of uh, steam in microwave vegetables. And now those things cost like three to five dollars for a bag. It was 99 cents before the pandemic. It's the pandemic. A lot of a lot of companies are like, oh, people aren't going out as much, which means they're ordering more groceries in, which I order groceries in. I don't have a car. So I order groceries often. And those bags, yeah, they're expensive. Fast food for me is a special day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same with like pizza. I feel that way about pizza, but I, I will say there there can be some like fun vegetarian pizzas, you know, like get, get a nice margarita, margarita pizza, good margarita pizza, real good, Ooh. tasty. Damn, I, I, <laughs> man, I had a craving for a pizza today and I just, I didn't, I didn't go with it and I'm kind of regretting it. I should have done it. It's just blatant price gouging at this point. The price never came back down. The crazy one was eggs. Do you remember when it was like. It was like six eggs for like five bucks. That was like six months ago. That was insane how expensive eggs were. And I, I did not, I did not get that. I did not understand that in the slightest. It was ridiculous. Eggs were so freaking expensive. Do you guys remember that? Eggs are back down now. And I like eating eggs because like, it's they're they're inexpensive. They you can eat a lot of them without eating uh getting a ton of calories. You've got protein in them. You gotta be careful because of the cholesterol, but like two or three eggs a day are not gonna kill you. If you're having like six eggs a day though, may, maybe that'll kill you. I used to do eggs all the time. Eggs are now a luxury. Not anymore. Eggs have come back down in price for the most part. <laughs> most part being the operative word. You know? Most part being the operative word. <laughs> it's cause like I like doing like eggs with rice. For like like the like the poor meal where I'm like, I don't feel like eating a lot or I don't feel like making a lot. Grab some rice, grab like two eggs, got my meal, I'm good. Or if I'm feeling spicy like I was today, added some vegetables in there. And I threw it all in a pan and I seasoned it and I was like, all right, we're in there. I like the broccoli stir fry. That's like my go-to. Hey J9, welcome in. Broccoli stir fry is definitely my go-to. I guess it's a little different. I live in a desert now, so lots of things are more expensive here. Yeah, I can imagine, because you can't grow as many vegetables. Eggs and rice, classic meal, absolutely. Eggs and rice noodles. Ooh, rice noodles, huh? I made some spam and rice earlier this week. Spam's good, too. If you need that like little bit of extra sodium, uh, I don't have it anymore, but like I need to get some more soy sauce, because like soy sauce is one of my favorite things to cook and eat. I know it's like a lot of sodium in it, but I'm like, mmm, soy sauce, good. Fried spam or uncooked? Uh, usually fried. I, I would throw it in a pan and just like pan cook it, pan fry it, you know? Not deep fat fry, just pan fried, you know? Pasta and sauce sounds pretty good too, because pasta is still inexpensive, isn't it? You can get like a big thing of pasta for like pretty cheap. If I need something quick and healthy, cilantro lime rice. Is that why is that healthy? What makes that healthy? Hey, Marshmallow Weganis, welcome in. My secret for keeping healthy has always been cottage cheese. It's a really good small snack and can even be a meal replacement for a small breakfast or lunch. Okay. Chopped up the spam and made a sauce out of it with soy sauce, mirin, and brown sugar. Well, that sounds pretty good too. Damn. Hello. I've been getting a lot of white chicken and greens. Decent meal and easy to cook. What is white chicken? What's What's white chicken? As opposed to what? Dark chicken? White meat? Breast meat? Boiled chicken? That's what I was like, huh? Gara, welcome in. White meat? Isn't, isn't all chicken like that? Isn't all? Because it's not turkey. We're talking chicken specifically. Eyes are dark? Oh. 
I've never heard it referred to like that. I hear I've heard it referred to that for like turkey. Oh. I just say like, hey, give me a chicken leg. Not hey, give me the dark chicken. Hey, give me the white chicken. Whoa. And fattier makes sense. Slight color difference. Oh, I know there is. I just I just never heard it referred to like that. Like, am I am I crazy? Who says, who says, y'all, give me that dark chicken? That dark chicken. No, you're like, give me some wings, give me some legs. Give me the chicken breast, give me the nugs. You know what I mean? Or am I crazy? Have I been living my entire life a lie? A lot of people? No shot. Don't hit me with that right now. Don't gas me. <laughs> no. It's usually uh, reversed where people say they want the white meat. Yeah, but for like turkey. I've never heard it referred to like that for like chicken. A lot of people don't want the fattiness. I mean, I guess. It has to deal with how much muscle is used. Thighs and legs are used to stand all day. No, no, I, I get that. <laughs> I've just never heard to it as like the light meat and the dark meat for chicken. For turkey all the time. Never for chicken. Easy fast food fix instead of bread lettuce wrap. That doesn't fix everything though. That does actually fix some issues though. You'd be surprised. I'm used to it for turkey, turkey, not for chicken. Yeah, true, true. The fattiness, yeah, there's more flavor. The more, the more fatty it is, the more flavor there is. I think I like knocked into my phone for a second. Let me uh, adjust it. There we go. Perfect. Chicken sandwich or burger if you had to choose. Is the chicken sandwich, is it a fried chicken sandwich? Or is it a grilled chicken sandwich? Hmm. Shatter over the white meat chicken. <laughs> fried chicken, yes. Ooh. Hmm. Is the burger well done or do I get to choose the temperature for the burger? Because this is, this is where we start getting like real specific. Like if I can build, build the ultimate burger versus build the ultimate chicken sandwich. Ooh. Is moon based? I like that. That's a good answer. <laughs> I feel like I would, I would pick that too. Thank you for using the uh, exclamation point GG. Yeah, guys, if you didn't know, uh, I am uh, partnered up with Gamer Subs exclamation point GG in chat. Uh, if you're interested in helping support the channel grow and getting something out of it for yourself, check out Gamer Subs, the ultimate gamer supplement based drink. Uh, get a bunch of amazing energy without a nasty crash afterwards that you would get with other leading energy drinks. Uh, no powdery substances when you drink it. It's fantastic. It's so freaking good. Homies in the car, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Hungry with the food tongue. There you go. But do you have a husbando cup? I want to at some point. You know? Quick question. Have you ever tried a portobello burger? Absolutely, I have. They're okay. If the mushroom's prepared well, yes. But I feel like I've had more bad portobello burgers than I have good ones. If that makes sense. So I'm going to try snake oil. Oh, God. I have the ethyl one. Which ones do I have? Hey, La Muerta. Thank you for gifting a sub. I appreciate it. Oh, and thank you for the follow as well. Hope you're kicking butt tonight. Hello, Milk Cookie. Welcome in. Um, I have three. I've got... I've got a pink one. I've got a blue one. And I've got like a red one that's not a waifu cup. I don't think the blue one's a waifu cup either. Actually, I don't think any of them are waifu cups. I don't think I have a single waifu cup. I keep wanting to, and then I'm like, <sighs> money. You know what I mean? I'll kick down someone down the stairs at Minecraft or a good Portobello Burger. Honestly, not a bad boy. Portobello Burgers, Portobello Burgers are pretty good. I feel like it really depends on who makes it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, absolutely. Because if the mushroom is like undercooked, and it has that like almost chewiness to it. I'm like, mm mm. Though, smashed flat burgers or thick ones? Uh, thick ones usually. I'm, I'm definitely more about the thick than I am the smashed flat. You know what I mean? Portobello burgers, a lot of vegetarian options come up, uh, come ended up poorly prepared and under seasoned. True! Oh my gosh. I was, I was at this, I was at this one place. Um, I think it's called, sp not Smashburger. What's it called? 
Shake Shack? I think it's I think it's Shake Shack. I forget I forget exactly. I think that was the name of it. They have like the they have like a shroom burger. And it was just under seasoned, like the stuff that they put on the mushroom didn't really taste like anything. It was almost watered. So like nothing actually stuck to the mushroom. It just was it was not fun. Thick burgers all the way, absolutely. You know? Of course Roy likes things thick. Of course have you seen me? Hold on a second. Have you seen me? Of course I like things thick. Come on. Have you seen me? Come on. Of course I like things thick. Come on. You know me. You know me. Cat, yes, there we go. Quick question. How do you like your steak, though? Usually medium rare. I can go medium. But uh, rare, medium rare, and medium are the... Uh, the, the three temperatures I would have a steak at. I would, I would never have a steak well done. Can't do it. But. Unless it's like a really fancy steak. Like a, like a really, really well done. Like well cooked, I mean. Like well prepared, seasoned, everything like that type of steak. I'm not ordering it. I do a bopping in here. Damn right. We're talking about food, actually. Also, apparently we were talking about how thick I am. So, there you go. That works, too. Got its own orbit. Ah, I'm not that thick. I'm not a planet, okay? But now we're talking about steak temperature. Yeah, rare, medium rare, and uh, medium are the only temperatures that I would ever, ever have a steak at. Medium rare is what I would go for. Uh, sometimes rare if I'm feeling bloody, you know? I always order a temp below what I want because it continues cooking while it's being served. Sometimes, unless they cut it for you. You know? Unless they cut it for you. I've had that way too many times. However, I would, in some cases with restaurants where I'm like, hey, I want it rare. And then it comes to me and it's like cold. Not, not like undercooked. It's like the outside got cooked and the inside didn't. And I'm like, oh, I mean, I guess technically it's like close to rare. Like you almost got it. So I would almost rather say make it medium rare. So they cook it a little bit longer than rare. And if it gets to medium, that's okay. But, you know. I always order a temp below. Yeah, I just, I, I can't do the temp below anymore. Hi, Aroma. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. We're talking about food. We're talking about food. I kind of wish we weren't, because now I'm like, damn, I can go for some extra food. Medium, medium, rare way to go. I think so. I think medium is acceptable. Medium rare is like preference. For sure. For sure. Absolutely. I hate when they cut it wrong too. Yeah, you gotta, gotta leave it to me for cut. Gotta leave it to me to cut it. That's what I want to do. That is absolutely what I want to do. I just want to cut that thing. <laughs> um, I love uh, F. Wally, darling. Or is it I love her? Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Thank you. Going good. Packing a little. Wait. Packing a little for a small vacay. Oh. Nice. That's nice. Hey, Secretary Luna. Welcome in. Roar professional steak cutter. Professional steak enjoyer. I love RF Wally Darling. Oh. I don't. Wait. Like reverse flash? But call me Wally? Okay. I was like, R.F. Wally. Hmm. I know Wally West, you know? Hey, Grimville! Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, welcome in. My name's Roy. I'll be your Bunny Breeze to host for today. Uh, we're just vibing. We're talking about food. Pull up a chair, kick up your feet. Let's have some fun. What I always go for a, a well done steak and thick gang for life. I hate it. R.F. means Rainbow Factory. Okay. Hey, I'll take your word for it. Can we get a shout out for Grimvale, though? I have come bearing love. Hey, well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Can we get a shout out for Grimvale? Poor favor. Poor favor. How was Hearts of Iron 4? That's a lot of, that's a lot of Iron Hearts. Hello, Mr. Meow. 
Water gamer. I need more water. I'm going to have to get some more water after the stream. Absolutely. <laughs> Although, I guess it fits with the water going on in the background. With the rain. You know? Ladies and gentlemen, huh? Today, Roy sits in front of you to sit behind you to tell you something he knows nothing about. What am I talking about? What do I not know anything about? Was it Hearts of Iron? Yeah. Cut out soda like 10 years ago, never went back. I lost like 30 pounds in six months afterwards. Yeah, because it's so much extra sugar. You know? Uh, how goes your stream and the league arc? And thank you uh, for uh, the stream arc. Uh, I tried to topple the Soviet Union as a... Huh? Oh, in the game. In the game. But it was very fun. Hey, I'm glad to hear it. Didn't finish how you're good. I only drink water. Water, coffee, and like... Like alcohol. So like beer. It's a World War II game. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. I invested in a soda stream because I don't like straight water. Oh. I wonder. I wonder if that would be worth investing into. I mean, like, I can usually handle straight water, but it's like, I'll add some, like, gamer subs to it. Like, if I really don't feel like drinking just water, you know? I was hella baffled. I had already forgot what they were talking about. My mind didn't work. I would just say, thank you for the shout out. Uh, but it's a grand strategy game like Stellaris or Civ. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Water, hot drinks, and alcohol. There you go. Uh, next Thursday, which is Good Friday, there will be a Father's Day meeting for mothers only. I'm screaming. I don't want to read this anymore. <laughs> yeah, I love sparkling water. I like carbonation, but not all the sugar from soda. I get that. Uh, usually, like, if I'm drinking, like, a sparkling water, it's, like, LaCroix. 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 <laughs> Roy Brain just went, it really did. No, it, no, it for sure did. It for sure did. One hundo. It's like an old nursery rhyme. LaCroix pomegranate is amazing. What was my favorite? I think I like the orange one, because, like, it's only, like, slightly... You know? It's only like slightly flavored. Roy Brain always. Honestly, I've been just like sitting here like, do I just do I just boot up League? Like, do I just play League? Do I turn it into like a just chatting stream of League again? You know? <laughs> do some solo grinding on ranked. Get judged. Hey, Grimvale, thank you so much for gifting, or I'm sorry, tipping $5 to the cafe. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. Remember, you can also sub, you know, as an alternative, if you want to get uh, emotes and everything like that. Hey, take care, Muffin Lord. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah, I'm honestly thinking about hopping back on a league, you know? Play Chibi Robo? I don't have it. I don't have it. Soda Stream has a lot of soda-like flavors. Uh, you can enjoy uh, the soda flavor without all the extra sugar. Help me dodge diabetes. I just don't drink soda. You know what I mean? I don't understand how subs work, and I don't want it to just auto-charge me. Oh, any of that wacky nonsense. I understand. I understand. What you can do is buy yourself a sub and then unsub, or you can buy yourself a sub for a certain amount of time. You know, you can buy yourself like a six-month sub or something like that, you know? Oh, God, I'm sorry for your loss. I've been enjoying it. To be fair, they get sucked in by a league too late, Natalie. Listen, the men are too hot. The women are too hot. The yordles are too funny. You know, I just wanted to show support because you're an inspiration for me. And I appreciate you being a pillar of light in the community space. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Timothy Streamer does give more revenue to the streamer, though. It does. But only very slightly more because <laughs> PayPal, you know, never to cancel on a renew. Yes, very much so. Human fall flat. Oh, I don't know about that one. Men are too hot. That's why I play FF14. Are none of the men in FF14 hot to you? Arcane season two one. I haven't even seen season one. I've been avoiding League for a decade, but Project L is coming out soon. I think that's a reason why I wanted to play League elsewhere. Is that dumb? You try only up yet? I beat only up. I had a punishment game with Kage, which there's a video of it now. Exclamation point YouTube or exclamation point YT in chat. You can check out the video where I played a punishment game of whoever uh, beat 
only up in whoever didn't got punished. You need to watch Arcane? I will. Maybe. At some point. How long did it take? Uh, I think I was just under two hours. I think Kage was just under an hour and a half. We were only like 10 minutes apart from each other. If that. Maybe five minutes. We were really close. It was a close race. Honestly. I beat Shoto. I actually don't remember. It may have been just over two hours. I feel like it was like one, one, like 114 minutes or something. I watched him fall so many times. God. I'm trying to think of like what my worst fall was. What was my worst fall? Hey, Kitsuno Kimo. Welcome in. I do love Shoto though. Shoto's great. I think this was four or five hours. Hot damn. I think getting over it is way harder. We're doing the getting over it endurance stream next week. We are doing that next week. I'm doing the getting over it endurance stream because I promised if we made it to 10K subs before the end of July, which we did, we actually made it to 12K, uh, which is insane. Uh, I promised that I would do uh, a getting over it endurance stream. I have to do like another challenge. Like if we get to, I don't know, 20K subs before the end of August, which would actually be insane. Do Ludwig's God Gamer Gauntlet? I'll do that. What is it? Beat, beat only up, beat Jump King, beat uh, getting over it? Is that what it is? Hey, Druid, welcome in. You're playing Get It Over It? You might want to start writing your will. Pogo stuck? Damn. So all the lovely intention. Thank you. I find getting over it easy, but only up is hard AF. We're going to find out. I'm sure that it's like different for everybody. Each in one hour? Hot damn. Coffin Cuddles, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Hope you're doing fantastic tonight. My name's Royal. Be your bunny barista host for this evening. Uh, I hope you're all doing amazing tonight. We're just vibing. I'm debating whether I want to play League or not. I don't know. I don't know if I want to subject chat to, to, to me playing through ranked League for like another two, three, four hours. I don't know if that's what chat wants. If they want to see me play ranked and try and grind out above iron. <laughs> How was your stream? Could you get a shout out for coffin cuddles, please? Thank you. Strange horticulture. What the frick is that? What is that? You can do it, Roy, I believe. Hmm. I don't know. Do we just dive into it? I just do it? When did you de do debut? You seem to be growing at a great pace. Oh, I mean, I've been a VTuber for almost two years. I've been a, I've been a VTuber for like... I guess technically two years. If you want to count PNG tubing, technically I have two years at this point. But this model specifically was June 1st. Uh, YouTube did, however, take off in like mid-June. YouTube did start popping off in mid-June. I think I was like 5K subs in like the middle of June. And now I'm at 12K. I hit 12K today. So it's game about plants of the Victorian era. Very potion slash botanist. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Hell yeah. Puzzles and stuff? Nice. Yes, today is two months on the model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, Apple Milk. Hi, how are you? I refuse to torture myself anymore with gaming, uh, playing through. <laughs> I want to be the guy. Is it enough? There are some games that I have fun with, you know? I had good just chilling. Let's go. It's getting over it. Jump King and Pogo stuck. Don't know if only it's been added yet. I don't think so. I feel like I remember hearing about that gauntlet though. Arkwood. If we listen, if, if we get to like 20 K subs, maybe I'll do that gauntlet or, or I'll, I'll, I'll do jump King. I'll do a jump King endurance stream. You play souls games, Elden Ring, etc. Elden Ring is the only one that I haven't uh, played. Uh, I played like the first, like I think two or three hours or something like that. Uh, and I just, I got overwhelmed. Um, I, I have a really like bad, like mental space of games that are like, Hey, go. And they don't really give you direction. So the fact that I literally could go anywhere made me not want to go anywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like dark souls one, two, and three and bloodborne and Sekiro. No problem. Beat, beat all of those almost beat demon souls, but I ended up not enjoying demon souls. So I dropped it. I got like. God, it was like two bosses before the final boss or something, you know? Executive disorder. Yeah, because like I I am I am overwhelmed by choice. Yeah, choice overload, exactly. And I it, because of it I just I can't do it. 
Yeah, Bloodborne I platinumed. I love the Bloodborne. Bloodborne and Sekiro are my two favorite of of the franchise. I think they are I think they are cut above the rest. I think Bloodborne still has not been I mean, I haven't I, I didn't finish Elden Ring and I'm sure everybody that wants to talk about it will will mention that it's probably better than Bloodborne, you know. I played Ace Combat 7. No, I'm not a big fighter pilot kind of guy. Hey, Helios, welcome in. I like Sekiro Bloodborne the most out of the recent from software games. Sekiro honestly might be my favorite because it felt What's the right way to say this? Um, Sekiro eventually felt more skill based. Like, so not not to say that like the Soulsborne games aren't skill based, but at some point, like when you're playing them, you can kind of just like farm souls or or farm like echoes or like whatever, and just pump your stats up, and then just body, you know, a boss or body a, a mini boss or body an area a lot easier, you know. But Sekiro really, like, makes you learn, like, the combat system to the point where, like, you just have to get good. You have to learn how to play the game. You got to learn the mechanics. You got to learn how to play. Yeah, there's less ways to cheese. There still are ways to cheese in Sekiro because I was learning the speed run for it. But it didn't feel like they were nearly as impactful and you just had to get good. Uh, and I liked that about Sekiro because I had, I had a moment. I want to say, like, Maybe like 10 hours into the game where it clicked for me. And I immediately went, oh, this is how I'm supposed to play the game. You know what I mean? Wrong place. Sorry. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, it just, oh, I had so much fun. I had so much fun with Sekiro. I, I really, really hope that we get another Sekiro. I think that would be, that'd be freaking great. You know? Still not Bloodborne remaster slash two copium. I mean, I'd be good with that, too. If we got a Bloodborne 2 or a remaster, I'd, play, I'd replay the shit out of it. Absolutely. One plays com, uh, Ace Combat for the lore, not just the planes. I mean, I'll take your word for it. I don't know anything about Ace Combat, you know? Is Sekiro 2 likely? All right, so... I'm going to be real. I don't know. Um, the, reason, the reason I say that is because Sekiro, at the end of it, they set up for Journey to the West. So, like, Son Goku and, like, Chinese mythology and, and like, that kind of stuff. You know? Um, or, or uh, what's his name? Um, Wukong. There we go. I was trying to think of his name. Uh, like, they set up for that kind of stuff. You know? They set up for, like, Wukong and Journey to the West and all, all this kind of stuff in Chinese mythology. Uh, and I think that would be dope. However... Then Koei Tecmo, or Tecmo Koei, whichever, however you, you know, put it, uh, they did Neo 1 and 2, and then they did Wo Long, and it was, like, not well-received. And I think there might be some fear about that, you know? Which boss do you hate the most? In all of Soulsborne and Sekiro? Hmm. The Desi, thank you for the follow. That's a hard one. Um, there's two bosses in Sekiro that I didn't like. Um, one of them was the God. What was it called? Was it the accursed one? Is that what it was? It was like, it was like the giant flame demon that you fight when it's like almost end game of Sekiro. It's like the optional secret boss in Sekiro. Because it did not feel like a Sekiro boss. It felt like a Bloodborne boss. You know? <gasps> Shwee! Hey! Thank you so much for the raid! I get to see more of your cute emotes! Let's go! Hey! Well, Demon of Hatred, thank you. Welcome in, Raiders! My name's Roy. I'll be your bunny barista host for this evening. I specialize in voice acting and I house this cafe called The Cup of Dusk, where I bring in various content creators from around the internet. We do a bit of improv sketch comedy combined with interview chaos. So if that's your cup of tea or you just want to see uh, what fun things that we can get up to, well, pull up a chair, kick up your feet, let's have some fun. QD modes, indeed, Double raid? Is there another one coming? Oh, you meant the one from Coffin. Right, 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 right. We've had a couple raids. Shwee, how was your stream? How was Apex Legends? Hope that's been going well for you. Can you get me a shot of tequila for under 21 people? No. No underage drinking. This is a cafe. It was good wide jiggling. Let's go. We love wide jiggling. Saranya. Hello, hello. Howdy, Raiders. Howdy, Raiders, indeed. 
Yes. I hope you all had a fantastic evening. And thank you for being here. Pull up your chairs. Gig up your feet. Let's have some fun. I was actually thinking about diving into some league. <laughs> oh, my God. How about an Irish coffee? I could go for an Irish coffee. I'm so strongly considering. But I don't know. Someone, someone in chat would have to show me like that they really want to see me grind through freaking some sort of league malarkey. You know? I never drank coffee before. So proud of myself. Wicked. What the frick? Huh? We gotta get you some coffee. League brain rot is so real. It happens. It really happens, Saranya. Shwee, we gotta get you some, uh, some coffee. We gotta get you some coffee. You know? It's just the, it's just the way to do it. It's just the way to do it, you know? It's just the way to do it. But no, I hope you had a great raid. Or a great uh, stream. Hey, Miriam doing a Delta. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Hope you're doing fantastic. Taking shots while playing League. I mean, I was drinking last night while I was playing with, um, what's it called? With, uh, with Papamon and, uh, bit of, bit of, bit of, bit of, I was going to say Vulcan, but it's Val. And then I was going to say Vulcantine. It's Val. Val. Valictide. There we go. I was watching you while uh, queuing. Thank you for entertaining me. Yeah, of course. Thank you for uh, using me as your uh, queue entertainment. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mirian, thank you again for the raid as well. I hope Evil Within 2 is treating you well. That's a fun game. I hope at some point we get an Evil Within 3 or just a spinoff in that, that franchise. Uh, Steel. Oh, official. Thank you for the uh, follow. Welcome in. Stream was okay. FNAF SB gives me anxiety. Is that Security Breach? I haven't played any of the FNAF games, but I did look up the lore. Vulcan lives. There you go. I had to switch to Evil Within. It happens. It happens. Hey, it happens to the best of us. Sometimes it's fun to switch games. Sometimes it's nice to just vibe, thrive, and survive and everything like that, you know? The lore. There you go. I live for complicated lore. I like lore. I hate to admit, but the times I tried coffee, I haven't liked it. And, like, the coffee shop vibe is so great. Uh, so it sucks that I'm not much of a coffee drinker. It is very possible that you just haven't found the kind of coffee that you like. Might I recommend checking out Grinding Coffee Company, exclamation point, coffee in chat. Uh, they have been gracious enough to uh, partner up with me. Uh, you can get some awesome flavors. My favorite is the Gay Agenda. It's a little bit fruity. Uh, it's got a nice uh, aftertone uh, of fruit and sweetness. It's, it's really easy, uh, not super acidic, very, very, very nice finish. Thousands of types of coffee you'll find the one you like. The other thing is, is like you don't have to drink black coffee. You know, I know there are tons and tons and tons of people out there that are going to be like, oh, like you're having dessert coffee. You're having your coffee with whipped cream and caramel and sugar and like 40,000 other things that you're throwing in there. You don't have to. You do not have to do that. You can have coffee in any which way. You know, my coffee addiction would love this. Hell yeah. Just use code Roy at checkout for a nice 10% off. The coffee I uh, have had, I haven't liked. Time to try some different coffee, you know? Coffee is very much like, um, it's like alcohol, you know? If you're not a beer person, you could try margaritas or uh, whiskey or wine or tequila, you know? It's not, oh, I had a beer. I hate all alcohol. Coffee is very much the same, you know? There's, there's thousands of combinations for coffee for you to try. The gay agenda I see is a drink made for me. <laughs> it was the first one I grabbed. Oh, Cabal also has a, uh, a coffee flavor that I really want to try. I really want to try Cab's flavor. I just need to, I need to get my finances in order before I buy more stuff. Though, to be fair, Grinding Coffee Company is very, very affordable and great shipping. You know? Maybe I'll just buy some. Can I use my own code? Can I use my own code to buy coffee? Can I do that? Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Where's where's Cab's flavor? Where's Cab's flavor? Is where's Cab's flavor? Uh, new flavors. Doesn't he have a flavor? What the frick? What's Cab's flavor called? No free samples. Oh, I've had plenty. Trust me. I don't need more. I don't see why you can't use your own code. Auto discount. That's what I'm saying. Didn't Cab announce that he has a flavor? Am I crazy? Cab? Oh, there we go. Cult classic. I don't want it ground. No, they only sell in ground. I got a five pound bag of ground. 
<laughs> cult classic. Does he? Oh, it says whole bean coming soon. That's what I want. I guess I could get a pound. Is there is there a way to get free shipping? Check out. I actually can't remember if there's a way to get free shipping. Is there just free shipping anyway? That'd be insane. Uh, I'll do this later. But at least I found his flavor, you know? You like finding your own coffee? I mean, it's not my coffee. It's Cab's coffee, you know? When you say Cab, you mean Mr. Yaoi Hands Cabal? I do. Ah! I love Cabal. Any Anytime I've been able to sit down and talk to Cabal, genuinely, he is one of the, like, God, I feel like I've known him for years. You know, like it's 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 one of those weird things that like I've I've genuinely only had maybe like three conversations with him that were like one on one, but like any time I've actually been able to sit down and like talk to him, it's been it, he just makes it feel like we've known each other forever. You know, he he always makes me feel like like he respects my time and um, values me as a person. Always really nice. I love talking to Cabal. He is he's just a fantastic person. So uh I would love to try his flavor. I actually I actually don't even know what like the flavor is. Has me curious. When you can't decide if you want hazelnut or mocha, join the cult and drink this classic, indulgent combination of rich flavors. This medium roast is a perfect as a dessert coffee or every time your cup is empty. All our flavored coffees start as specialty grade single origin coffee roasted in small batches to a smooth medium. Each order is then carefully flavored with high quality flavoring oils while still warm. Perfect. <gasps> Wait, he's got a mug too? I want that. What the frick? I want that. Hell yeah. Hey, Kaylee Cakes. Time to get fast yet feel too long. Time goes fast yet feels too long. No, that's very true. That's very true. But guys, if you want to, uh, I actually own uh, one of his mugs. Do you really? That sounds delicious with a cab. I'll have to get, I'll have to get a pound of his coffee. Get some, get some whole beans. Also pretty hefty. Nice. I, do, I actually, hold on. I don't know if that express, expresses the weight. I have a coffee mug in my hand. It's like a solid, like, three pounds. It's heavy. Here, because you saw me on a porcelain main. Hey! Well, welcome in. Yeah, Joel and I are uh, good friends. I love Joel. He's good people. Cab did not skimp out. I'm glad. I'm glad he didn't. I love Cab. Cab is uh, amazing people. Like I said, amazing people. Glad to know him. Glad to know Joel. You know, hefty mug. Absolutely. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome in. Glad to have you. Uh, what do you guys think? We've been chatting for like an hour and a half. Do you guys want to just keep chatting? Here, let's do it. Let's do a poll. Slash poll. Uh, what do? Keep chatting ranked League of Legends. Give it a, a three minute. Zatsudan? I mean, that's basically what we're doing already. That's why I'm like, oh, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. <laughs> Exactly why I'm here. Grebbles? Yeah, you too. Yeah, Joel, Joel is um Joel's just great people. Joel has always been like a like a very kind to me, very inspirational to me. And uh being able to spend time with him and kind of just shoot the shit and learn from him uh and make good content with him always feels really good. You know? Alright, I see you guys don't want to see League of Legends. Unless the League of Legends takeover happens. It's true. Hey, Henty Ventai. Get wild either way. Oh, sure. Absolutely. I would vote for just chatting plus placid plastic duck simulators. Whoa, the league is catching up. Whoa. I see you everywhere on YouTube shorts. Uh, I was also very intrigued by this model you have. Hey, well, I do love this model. It's a very fun model. Oh, my God. They're so tight. They're so close. Can't get from Joel is good people. I wonder why you would say that, Saranya. I wonder why you of all people would say that, you know? People want to see the hot league man. It's true. Minmo, hi. How are you? That's my favorite. That's my favorite burger cow. That's my favorite burger cow. I love that burger cow. League. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Kaylee, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. I'm finally free of COVID. Oh, 
<gasps> Congrats. I didn't even know you had COVID. My favorite coffee bun. There we go. There we go. We'll take that. We take that. We take that. Definitely not biased because he's my design papa. I get you. I get you. Also, what'd you say? Love the 90s anime art style. Oh, super cute. Super cute. Absolutely. Hello. Uh, is it a tropa belladonna? A tropa belladonna. Hi. Welcome in. Hi. Hi. Thanks for the first time chat. Hug congrats on the recovery. Let's go. Tea versus coffee. The forever drink war. Where is that coming from? I forgot that COVID exists. It is a little crazy now because COVID started in 2020. Which is over three years ago. It started in what? Late February, early March. It's like when we first started getting into like, like lockdown and everything, you know? Um, God, it was so long ago now. It feels like it was so long ago. I think it was February. Yeah, it was like February, March of 2020. And it just, whoo! But it really slaps you with really nasty side effects behind. You know what's actually crazy? Uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock on wood while I'm saying this. I have not had the Bovid. I am double vaccinated and single boosted. I think. I got what? What is it? Booster? Whatever they're, whatever they're called. Like when you get like the, the extra shots after you've had the vaccine for a while. You know? I still have the cough. Damn, that sucks. I hope you never get it. Me too. I'm usually pretty good with sickness aside from um, the con crud. So like when I go to cons, like I have this really, really bad luck, really bad luck of getting con crud, but on the last day of the con. You know what I mean? A vax too, but shrugs one bad day, I guess. I mean, so here's the thing to remember. You know, here's, here's the thing to remember, though. You know, if you are getting vaccinated and then you do end up getting, you know, sick, it's going to be way, way less worse. It's going to be much better than if you weren't vaccinated. You know what I mean? You're fine all the other days, and then, well, bam, have a souvenir. Oh, my God. Literally, so that happened to me at MAGFest. Um, and so I think I've talked about this before. I have, a, um, I have a vascular disorder where my body just, like, randomly will uh, either really, really, really quickly heat up or really, really, really quickly cool down um, because my veins are small and crap like that. Rye with the raid. Hi. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in. I hope you're all doing fantastic. And hi, welcome in. I'm telling the story about how I got sick at MAGFest on the last day, and then I had to fly home super sick. How is FF16, though? I wonder how much you've caught up. Hmm. Hmm. Bro, game is so good. I'm, I'm so not finished yet. <laughs> Just got to the second time skip. Okay, I am at least at that point. That's all I'll say. I am at least at that point. I'm a little bit beyond that. I'm a little bit beyond that. FF16, my bisexual wet dream. There are a lot of hot people in FF16. To be fair, a lot of hot, sexy people. Absolutely. Mint Moo, I see you going for the years. I see you've got good taste. I see you've got good taste. I see you. I see you. <laughs> Barai, I hope you had a fantastic stream. They're cute. Aw. You're cute. Got them. Got them. I love design. I cannot get over it. Well, I'm glad you like it. They didn't need to make every character in FF so hot. Yes, they did. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Hmm. Same as Genshin. You can miss me on that one. I don't think every character in Genshin's hot. Final Fantasy hot characters. Never would have guessed. Never. You're all cute. True. True. We are. We are. I, I hear that people that watch Roy Keato on Twitch.tv are uh, pretty cute. You know? Twitch.television. Greetings, good sir. Hi, JS. Welcome in. Hello, Trans Agenda. I hope you're doing fantastic. The cutest, one might say. I don't know about the cutest, but I do try. I do try. Drinking game. Take a shot every time someone flirts with Roy. That'd be a lot. I don't, I don't want you guys to, to, to get, like, smashed. Zhang Li clears everyone in Genshin? You think so? I mean, if you say so. I mean, have you seen this man? Who, Zhang Li or me? I mean, Zhang Li's okay. I think he can be hot. 
I think how he's portrayed in the game is much less than what people portray him in, um, like art. I've seen hot Zhongli art. You know, you okay? Good. I, I just had to double check. You know, I had to make sure. I had to make sure. But Rye, thank you again for the uh, the raid. I hope you had a fantastic evening, uh, and I, I hope that you are kicking tons of butt today. Big love, homie. Big love. Big love. Ito supremacy. Literally, the biggest issue with Ito is that he should be so much more buff than he is. Alhaitham is more buff than Ito. They did Ito dirty. They did Ito dirty. That's all I'm saying. They did Ito dirty. Good research material for Zhongli. Ah, yes. Dong Li. My favorite Genshin character. <laughs> Dong Li. We will die from alcohol poisoning. Yeah, if you have a drinking game anytime tr someone tries to flirt with me, absolutely. You guys are... Pfft. You guys didn't survive in. Still talking Genshin with Honkai Star Rail is right there. I, I enjoy Honkai Star Rail. Do not get me wrong. I, however, my brain has not been able to switch into wanting to play it again. It's updated. I have pulls ready for Blade, who I think goes away in like a week. And I still have not pulled for him yet. And I'm debating whether I just wait for uh, Kafka or if I get him. But I'm really behind on content for Honkai, which is, I think, part of the reason why I stopped playing it. Because a new patch came out and I was not ready. So I was just like, well, nobody's going to want to watch me play Honkai. You know? I'll not play Honkai until I stop getting their ads eternally. Oh, there you go. His pecs are fine, but the arms are the problem. I mean, both could be bigger. Kafka, the underworld doctor from the YouTube ads. <laughs> or Kefka. Let's go FF6. Go, go entirely uh, Kefka FF6 laugh, you know? <laughs> Hey, Toxie! Thank you for the 200 bits! Oh, God. Here comes some noise. His Highness, the most noble, oh. revered, yes. and venerable Lord Raikaito, True. protector of the down bad, so. guardian of the down fallen, uh. conqueror of the downhearted, uh. sovereign of the downcast, uh. majestic ruler of the down and out, um. and supreme monarch of the descent to ascendancy. You know what? We'll take it. You know what? Most of that was good. Most of that was pretty good. Most of that was good. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Thank you for the 200 bits. I appreciate it. Natasha? I, Natasha and Underworld? I don't know what that is. Yeah, you got me. You know? All right, Natasha. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm going to take your guys' word for it. I don't know. Jack. Underworld Doctor? Huh? I like your funny words, Magic Man. Honestly, I always imagine uh, Kafka instead of Kafka when someone says her name. Honestly, same. Every single time. Yeah, speaking of fan art, I loved making my first fan art of you. I'm glad you liked it. Hell yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Guys, uh, I, I think I've expressed this many times before, but if you ever make fan art for me, either tag me or use the appropriate fan art uh, tag. Uh, if it's SFW, obviously Roichi Art. Uh, if it's NSFW, tag the NSFW account and uh, hashtag uh, Roichi Buns. Have fun uh, and make sure I, I, I see it. And if I don't see it, tag me on Twitter or something because I want to be able to uh, retweet it and appreciate you guys and, and celebrate the fact that you guys have been so kind to do stuff with me. You know? Where have you seen Good Omens? I have not. Is that the, is that the one with the, uh, the angel and the devil like working together? The whole thing is, hi, I'm Natasha, an underworld doctor feeling sick. Is she the green-haired one? Like the bluish green-haired one? Might do fan art. Hey, feel free. Crowley and whatever the angel's name is. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I've just never seen it. I am familiar with it, though. You know? A Aziraphale? Azra Aziraphale. Cacti Whale, welcome in. Hope you're doing fantastic. Thanks for the follow. Such a good show, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'm, I'm really behind on a lot of shows. Um, I somehow convinced the people that I, I generally binge watch shows with to watch uh, Suits, which I don't know if you guys have seen Suits before. It was a show that aired on USA, which is where um, Royal Pains and Burn Notice aired. 
Uh, and all of it is now on Netflix. So I've been watching through it with the homies. Or they have like eight of the nine seasons or something. Something like that. So we're, we're on like season five now. And like we're way past the point of like where I stopped watching it. Ruby Dead Queen, thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate the 16 months. I haven't heard of Suits in such a long time. It's crazy. We should love Suits, Burn Notice, Monk, and Scrubs. Well, Scrubs was Fox, I think. I don't remember what network Monk was on, but Suits and Burn Notice were USA. Absolutely. Absolutely they were. Um, yeah, Suits has been fun to go through. But, like, I'm watching through that, and then I'm sure once we're done with that, uh, Siege is probably going to yell at me that I still haven't seen Arcane. So I have a feeling that, like, once we finish suits that it's gonna be like switching into arcane because i <laughs> i have so many people yelling at me that i haven't seen arcane and i'm on my like league of legends kick you know arcane is good too or arcane is pretty dang good hi kindred what's up it's been more than five minutes hold on hey listen take your time suitable follow up arcane after suits yes ah they're so intertwined uh, give a view to Dem to to Nimona too. It's a movie on Netflix. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. If if uh, if enough people want to watch it, you know, we're in the LOL arc and haven't seen Arcane. Listen, listen. Hot men, cute femboy twinks. Okay. Fairy Ezreal. I want to be drawn in that skin, and then set. Well, Set can just do whatever he wants because it's Set, you know, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? I heard Twinks, I'm here. We're talking about uh, Fairy Ezreal from, from League of Legends. Because his fairy skin, bro, there's a hot man, a hot twink in Arcane. Who is the hot twink in Arcane? Hold on a second. Is his ass fat? It is in the fan art. Literally, like, there was a day zero fan art of the fairy. Ezreal skin and I was like this is how I want to be drawn in this art absolutely this is how I want to be drawn Ezreal's just a twink period <laughs> ah! uh, Arcane Jace can get it I don't know anything about Jace except that he switches from range to melee the twink in Arcane is him Jace? I thought Jace was like twunk or is Ezreal in Arcane Hey, what's going on, Kleenex? Welcome in. I love set. I do love set. Listen, I could take set. I feel like whenever I see new art of you, your hips get wider. I see you using a cool emote, so I think that's, I think that's a good thing. Set's my favorite champion. I play set top lane, and I play Ezra bot lane. And set is using my, the beach skin because it doesn't have a shirt on, which is great. And then Ezra's using the fairy skin because I want to be drawn in the fairy skin, you know? I play set in bot lane. To be fair, I did twice. <laughs> and those are the positions of bed, too. <laughs> I can take set not in a fight for multiple hours. Days. No, that's my, that's my job. So now I came back into hearing what? Oh, we were talking about Jace, like League of Legends Jace. Victor and this courtesan who has no name are the twinks. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take your word for it. Controversial thing I've done uh, was play Ari and Lux's ADC. To be fair... I don't know about Ari because I don't I don't see her much in iron because like I'm stuck in iron. You know? Lux, if Lux ends up getting like two kills early in bot lane and is for some reason taking your feed, 100 percent Lux can be your your hyper carry. It won't be ADC, it would be APC. I think it would be a, a ability power carry. I think. You know? Ari's mostly mid lane. No, I know that. I just meant I haven't seen her much in iron. So I don't I don't know if she could run like bottom lane, you know? Uh, did I miss anything? Uh, we're talking about me being drawn as a fairy twink with grabbable wide hips, pants that are tight so my ass is showing, uh, exposed midriff, and like, yeah. I think that was it. I think that's I think that's basically it. Oh, and set from League of Legends is hot. There you go. There you go. You'd be surprised. It's just iconic, just to prove people wrong. Honestly, true. Honestly, true. Um, 
I'm like, I want to show this this one Ezreal like art piece, but I'm like, I'm like afraid that it would be considered like, I don't think it's NSFW, but like that's that's the thing. You saying like I don't think, and then you're like, mm, hold on a second, do I take the risk? You know what I mean? Like, do you do you take the risk when you hear that? That's what I mean. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like it's like do you take the risk? I feel like the answer is yes. Do we take the risk? You have to fight me for set. If it's as then LOL best not to. What do you mean? I don't know, it's just hot Ezreal. You could DM me and we'll see. Uh, hold on. This is, this is literally the only one I'm nervous about Vulcan, but I'm like, I still feel like that's pretty tame. I still feel like that's pretty tame to be fair. You know, there can only be one. <laughs> hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I feel like it's pretty tame. That same worst case, stay above the hips. Well, that doesn't help. <laughs> I just won't show it. I just won't show it. Put it in mod chat. No, it's okay. I just won't show it. Not me using the fan art for refs. Oh, wait, I got you. Hold on. If you need refs, I got you. If you need refs. I literally got you. Say less, homie. L literally say less. I have these literally sitting in a folder. I literally have this in a folder. Not kidding when I say that. There you go. Perfect. I had the refs ready. I was freaking prepared. You know what I mean? Vulcan's plotting. Good. Oh. Roy, I literally use the exact piece to show people what to draw. Wait, the one that I sent you? Oh, the one that I sent you is the one that you used as reference? <laughs> I love that one, though. Because it's like Ezreal just has like, like a fat ass, you know? In really like tight pants. And for some reason, the art piece came out like before the skin even came out. It was like, hey, they announced the skins. And then, like, the next day or, like, the same day later that day, someone came out with it, you know? Just be forwarding this to Ophi. Hey, pick, listen, pick your poison. There are a couple people that have been drawing me, like, recently and love drawing, like, the Femboy Roy, you know? Like, Ophi's been doing that really well. Uh, Megboy has been doing it really well. Uh, Keyshawn has been doing it really well. You know? ADC got too much dumpy. Maybe tonight it'll be an Ezreal night. I thought it was going to be a set kind of night. But maybe it'll be an Ezreal kind of night. Maybe, maybe I'll just like, I'll just dominate with Ezreal. I'll be hyper aggressive. I'll fuck them up. You know? I'll show them they can't handle my ass. It's too fat. He has a tone whenever he says, you know. Do I? What tone do I have? Requirements to impress Roy. Fat ass. There are no other requirements. Hold on a second. Exposed abdomen works. Um, or your top is so tight that you can see your belly button through the top. Um, thigh squish is good. Fat thighs are good. Fat ass is good. Uh, there's a lot of things. If we're talking like male presenting people. I can come up with a couple more things. Female presenting. Whole different story. Tongue. I got that too. I got one of those. But you know, fair and cultured bicep. I mean, guys can be cute without biceps. They're nice though. Women can be cute without bi with and without biceps too. They're also nice. NBs can be nice with and without biceps. You know, mine's bigger, sweetie. Wow, I didn't I didn't realize this was a measuring contest. Also, I don't need a long tongue. You know. <laughs> Officially been a week since I found your stream for the first time. Hey, well, we're glad to have you. I want to get my tongue pierced soon. Isn't it cool? I think tongue piercings are really cool. But I've always been a fan. Always been a fan. 
Hello, Doran Mystique. Welcome in. Thanks for the first time, chat. Hope you're doing well tonight. Uh, but no, I've been, um, the League brain rot has been super real. The League brain rot has been, like, really bad uh, in the past, like, I want to say week? Week and a half, maybe? Um, I think I am getting better, though. Uh, I've been on mostly a winning streak for, for ranked. I was Iron 4, which is the lowest you can get. I'm back up to Iron 2. So, what about Split Tongue? I'm iffy on Split Tongues. Um, I think the problem with, like, Split Tongues is, like, I've only seen them during, like, the recovery process. And I'm like, oh, that just looks so painful. You know? I've only seen them during the recovery process. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I already got my ears pierced, aiming for my lip, earlobe, and possibly eyebrows. Damn. He's piercing everything. A regular piercer. He's going to pierce the heavens. Ah, oh, Drill is the one that will pierce the heavens. With a capital P. Plosive. That's how I started for me. LOL. That's all I played for four years, and I just stopped out of nowhere. I think it's it'll probably be the same for me uh, with, with like a lot of other games, where like I'll play it a ton for like a couple weeks at a time, and then I'll drop it for a couple months, which is actually what I did. I'm I'm on my like my pickup arc again. I played for God, how long did I play it for? I think I played it for like a solid like three or four weeks. And then like when the the when the fairy Ezreal skin came out. And then we started getting into season 13. And then I took like a month break. <laughs> and then I came back. And none of my champions have changed, nor have any of the items that they used have changed. So I literally, like, nothing changed in the month that I took off. And I'm like, oh, okay. When is the next patch? Uh, League of Legends patch. When's the next patch? Are we on 13.4? 13.14. Oh, wait a minute. 13.15, 10 hours ago. There were patch notes? Wait, shit got patched? Hello? I didn't know this. Hold on a second. There was a patch today? Hold on. Opening, opening Riot Client right now. Wait, I played this today. Or is the patch not live yet? Is the patch not live yet? It might not be live yet. Hey, Prima. I honestly am considering Split Tongue as well, but I don't know. You got me. Patch isn't live yet, I think. Okay. Atrox getting buffed on his Q. Well, that sucks. Uh, Caitlyn getting passive critical strike chance scaling increased. And R getting an additional crit. Camille AD growth rate increased. R on hit damage increased. Gwen base health regen increased. W bonus armor and MR increased. Holy fuck. Uh, Pokeball, thank you for the follow. Okay, yeah. So this probably goes live tomorrow then. I would imagine. Ivern got magic resistance decreased. W ally on hit damage increased. Damn. How'd you first get in a league? Uh, 2009, 2010. I had a friend like tell me about it when it was still in, I think it was just released or had been out for a year. It was either 2009 or 2010. And if it's 2009, it was when the game first officially got released. Cause I remember it was the summer. So it was either summer of 2009 or summer of 2010. And unfortunately, I don't have access to that account anymore. It got hacked by Russian hackers because I saw Russian as the language that it was in. And then Korean hackers because I can get into the account, but everything's in Korean. And then I can't get any of the information back. And since I had a name change anyway, I was like, I'll just, I'll just, whatever. I'll take the new one, you know? Uh, crazy stuff going on. All right. So Kaisa base health decreased, Q damage decreased, W increased, uh, Maokai Q damage to monsters decreased, Nami passive bonus movement speed increased, Q base damage increased, okay. Rel multiple quality of life changes, I don't care about Rel. Sejuani W base damage decreased, Shivana AD growth decreased, good! Shivana has felt like a piece of shit. Shivana sucks, man. I have hated fighting Shivana late game recently. She is, she is a scaling champion in iron. Oh my god. Uh, Talia, Q damage increase, E cooldown uh, decreased early, damage to monsters increase. 
Yasuo passive shield scaling adjusted. Okay. Yone W shield strength increase. That's whatever. Stone baby got a buff. True. My first main was Shivana. That's fine. <laughs> uh, so what does smite do? 20% slow for two seconds. Unlocked on first upgrade to unleashed smite. What does that matter? Um. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I played Ezreal, apparently. I play Ezreal. Damage to non-lane minions, 600, 900, 1200, which is what Smite has been. Changing it to 20 to 160 based on level. Note, damage to jungle monsters and lane minions is unchanged. This should only affect minions spawned by another champion. Oh, oh, oh. For like Yorix? For like Yorix minions? Is that what that means? Kaminaru Shizuku. Welcome in. Basically like Yorith and Bel Belveth. Got it. Makes sense. Makes sense. Which is probably why they added the 20% the, the slow. Um, Haim, they made R worse. Annie, they made R worse. Yorick, they made R better. Okay. Maiden now has armor, magic resistance, and health regen. Well, Yorick just got a lot better. Night Harvester. Is that a new item? And he needed the nerfs. It's not that much worse. I think she's okay. I might try league again with friends, but only with friends. I mean, you might as well. Have some fun with it, you know? I might get going soon, but I'll stay for as long as I can. Well, I appreciate you being here. Yeah, I was going to say, stream's been going for like two hours now. We're just talking, talking bullshit now. Uh, there's one new item in Night Harvester. Night Harvester's best users is the item Static Shiv, which is below the bar for counterplay on the effect. We're taking time to make its application more consistent with other items, requiring casting an ability or at least inflicting auto attack damage. Wait, is that already in the game? I don't think I've ever seen Night Harvester. Gamer talk? Yeah, we're talking League. Hi, Shui. Talking BS is the best brain cells are stupid. I'm stupid. It's Listen, it's either this or, I don't know, I can, you know, I can... Is this better? Is this what you prefer? Yeah. Hmm. Night Harvester is a mage mythic. I don't think I've ever seen it used. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be 100 percent. I've never played League before. I mean, I would say you're I enjoy it. That's the thing. If you if you play it and you enjoy it, go for it. But like if you don't have friends to play with, stay away. Glacial Augment, which is a rune, is pretty... Gla Hold on, the note. I've never even heard of this. Glacial Augment is pretty overpowered right now and can end up feeling bad when dominant on tank supports, which unfortunately doesn't allow them to feel the effects of Guardian slash Aftershock. In this patch, we're nerfing the base value of it, increasing the stats benefits to tank supports generally don't have. What does that mean? Pascaru, thank you. Uh, elsewhere, thank you for. Oh, I'm sorry, Vulcan. Thank you for gifting a sub to Elsewhere. Thank you, I appreciate you. That's good. It's great on Thresh. Uh, Arena, I don't care. Anything else worth noting? Aram, no. Upcoming skins. Oh, more Soul Fighter skins. Yo, these skins are sick. These skins are sick! That Soul Fighter Jin? Wait, is is the arena Are the are, is the arena gonna be gone? Or are they just keeping yo Soul Fighter Viego actually looks sick. He looks like a fucking kill a kill villain. Whoever did the splash art for the Soul Fighter skins in League? Hold on, I'm actually gonna show these. Uh, bada bam. And then left monitor, okay. So there's Shaco. Shaco looks sick. I think I've seen this already before because people were talking about his thighs being like massive, which they are. Have I seen Soul Vader set? I'm. I'm iffy on Soul Fighter set. I want it, but at the same time, I don't want to spend money on it, you know? This would get me to play Shaco. 
Honestly. Shake goes silly. Solvet or Evelyn? Honestly. But <laughs> about SF Viego, his dance animation is torture dance from George's Bizarre Adventure. That's amazing. I only know Lux. You're fine, Shui. Uh, this is Gwen with her scissors. I think this is super cute. Super cute. I'm maining Viego then. Yo, her boots have mouths in them? That's her. That's her gosh dang boot. That's her gosh dang boot. That is sick. I actually love that. Soul Fighter Jin looks great. And I play Jin. So, I don't like League, but, yeah, but these just look cool. Like, you know, these are just cool art. It's splash art, you know, for League. The effects, agreed. Uh, then there's non-prestige Shaco, which I think still looks great. You know? Imagine that's her toe. Damn, I guess I have a foot fetish then. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I love this Shaco. This Shaco looks sick. And then there's uh, Soul Fighter Viego. I've been Omega tempted to play League for one reason. Pickpocket Twitch. Oh, the I don't think I don't know if I've seen that one. Pickpocket Twitch. Is that Sly? Wait, is that Sly Cooper? <laughs> he looks like Sly. <laughs> Is he with Evelyn too? I think that's Evelyn. <laughs> she looks like like Catwoman. That's amazing. I love that. That's so good. But no, uh, great skins. Um, I don't play jungler, but like I do play Jin. I would definitely rock that prestige Shaco and that Soul Fighter Shaco. 100%. Safe Cracker Evelyn. These are sick skins. These are dope. Um, None of these patch notes feel particularly like they affect me in any particular way. So, what was this again? What do they actually do to Glacial? And what do they actually do to Night Slasher? I'm sorry, Night Harvester. Um, damaging an enemy champion, damaging an enemy champion with an attack ability or pet damage. Oh, okay. It's for, for Soul Red. And then Icy Zone changed to 20% instead of 10 per, instead of 30%, plus 6% per 100 AP. Okay. Fair. Is that it? And the Smite change. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, I guess. Hi, I'm back. Right, kills with the skins for League. Honestly, the game's been around for like almost 15 years. It's 15 years old next year, which is kind of insane to think about. You know, that League has been around for that long, that they're still going and they're still successful, and they're just continuing to thrive and win. Though, Worlds has gone down, hasn't it? Hasn't, like, world's viewership gone down? Or has world's viewership gone up? I feel like I heard this the other day, that, like, people were saying league viewership went down. Maybe it's world's went up and other league viewership went down. Maybe that's what it was. I can't for the life of me remember. I can't for the life of me remember. <laughs> that makes me feel old. It happens. Looks like Scratch from Ice Age took Sly's outfit. I mean, Twitch is a rat. You know, I think every online thing's viewership went down compared to 2020, except for Worlds. Worlds has gone up. I remember when the Jinxed video first came out. It was like 10 years old now. Jinx. It was Jinxed. Like specifically Jinx or like there was a video that came out with it. Technically my first time here. Well, hi. Welcome in. Get Jinxed? Oh, I don't know. The Jinx MV op. Got me. I don't think I've seen it. I think I'd get in trouble if I listened to it. I don't know. I don't know. And listen, riot. I don't need riot on my ass. Okay. <laughs> she came with a music video before she got added. That's kind of cool. 
Hey, Jade Carlson, welcome in. Silent Bell! <laughs> Speaking of people that are awesome and uh, have really attractive art that I talk about on Twitter. Shit, I was going somewhere with that. Listen, I was, I was fucking going somewhere with that. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with it anymore. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Welcome in Raiders. My name's Roy. I'll be your bunny barista uh, host for this evening. I specialize in voice acting and I house this cafe called the Cup of Dusk uh, where I bring in uh, various content creators from around the internet. We did a bit of improv sketch comedy uh, and interview chaos. Uh, pull up a chair, kick your feet. Let's have some fun. Uh, Thursday, last cafe stream uh, before it changes into something else. Uh, do make me kiss you. Hmm. I mean, I already gave you all those compliments. Like, was it yesterday or was it the day before? Hmm. 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 I already gave you all those compliments, you know? <laughs> Someday? Someday, huh? Wow, that's crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. OMG Bell Raid? Damn right. Come here, bun boy. You'll have to take me. Uh, I don't remember where I was going at that. You won't take me alive? <laughs> hey, take care, Kaylee. Thank you for hanging out with us. But no, thank you for bringing all these wonderful people over. Uh, Bell, how was your stream? Oh my God, I'm zooming in. Did not mean to zoom in there. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'll take you all right, will you? Will you? Uh, Bell, what were you up to tonight? How was Overwatch 2? How was Overwatch Dose? Hope that's going well for you. I hope that is uh, going amazing. I haven't played Overwatch 2, I think, since, like, launch? Overwatch 2 started pissing me off, man. Ugh. Started real pissing me off. <laughs> Apologies, not league-related, but would it be all right uh, for you? Hold on. Would it be all right with you if I made a bunny ear headband of your ears? Yeah, of course. Go for it. I could use it for cosplay. Yeah, for sure. 100%. Go for it, JS. Uh, my stream was surprisingly well, even though I didn't talk the whole time. Oh, you had one of those types of streams? I think we've all been there, Bell. Like, honestly. Also, do you prefer to be called Silent? Do you prefer to be called Silent Bell or is Bell okay? I feel like I just keep saying Bell and I'm like, let me make sure. Let me inquire. Sill, Bell, Silent. I don't care. I like Bell. I like, I like Bell. Bell's cute. That's a cute name. You got, a, you got a cute name. You're very curious, aren't you, Roy? You're goddamn right I am curious. You can jingle my bell. It's not even Christmas. You're already talking about jingling my bells? Goddamn. How did I get so lucky? I'm just a femboy bunny out here with hearts in my eyes that are spinning every time I blink. <laughs> Overwatch, you got absolutely beat up after launch. <sighs> There's a lot of things that I am... There's a lot there's a lot of things that I I don't particularly love about Overwatch 2. Um but I think the five the five person meta is probably better than the six person meta, but I also fell off of Overwatch 1 because of Goats. And Goats sucked. Goats was not fun to play against at all. And I mean, the fact that Goats is gone is great, but like, I almost feel like they should have kept the CC in Overwatch 2 for certain champions and just like not let goats be a thing, but keep the CC for certain things. Don't tore. Thank you so much for the follow. Where's got the prettiest eyes? Thank you. Are you sure it's not Bell? Bell has some pretty eyes too. Bell has some pretty eyes too. I'm actually surprised Bell didn't raid earlier. I was talking about feet and they weren't here. But then again, I feel like Vil would have been here before Bell or both. It happens. It do happen like that. Uh, Woo, thank you. Just want to make sure everyone is comfortable. Yeah, of course. I appreciate you asking. But yeah, listen, I'm, I'm very like open to people doing cosplay. I'm very open to like people doing um, fan art. Um, you can do SFW. You can do NSFW. You can do cosplay. You can do memes, you can do edits, you can do clips. Like, have fun. Honestly. Foot convergence. 
<laughs> Villa's a Villa's a he's an influence, all right. Speaking of brain rot, Valorant is calling me. I'll catch you later. Yeah, take care, Saranya. Thank you so much for being here. Valorant is one game that I could not get into. I have tried a couple times to like learn. You know, I have tried a couple times to like learn Valorant and just the weapons being so random with bullet spread really pisses me off. It was really pissing me off. You know, fiercely squishy. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Nothing compares to bell feet. I mean. Anyway, uh, Optimu Prime. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Yeah, never into shooters. I've, I like some shooters. Like Overwatch is fun. You know, Overwatch is fun with friends when you're not playing ranked. You can just dick around, you know. Um, I feel like I'm real bad with anybody that's not silly, you know, like I, I think, God, who is my man? Friends help dilute the salt. That's how I feel about league too, you know? Cause like the whole reason that I've been grinding ranked in league is so I can play ranked with friends. Like, cause I can't play ranked with Papa Mutt right now. So he is leveling an alt account where he's only playing Teemo because, you know, the, the whole Twitter thing. And um, I'm just trying to get out of iron so I can play with him on his main account. Bell, don't, don't give me the keyboard smash. I know, I've seen the Twitter. You're all over my TL. I can't go a day without seeing like the contained sensitive content from Silent Bell. Are you sure you want to see this? Yeah. You can do it, Roy. Thank you. I appreciate it. Overwatch VAs are real fun to see in meet at cons. Yeah, absolutely. Love me some Matt Mercer. Love me some uh, uh, Crispin Freeman. Love me some uh, Jennifer Hale. Great people. Ken confirms and Yada's VA uh, was such a chill and intelligent guy to talk to. Nice. Same with Le VAs, of course. I know Robbie Damon is Kane. I kind of wanted to start learning jungler a little bit to carry a little bit more. And I like Kane because I like sights. You know, I like sides. I think they're pretty nifty. Kane's pretty cool. League VAs are fucking delightful. We love to hear that. We love to hear that. Robbie has to go, not gonna lie. That's literally why I got Kane. That's literally why I got Kane, honestly. Was so that I could do... So, so like, I could hear Robbie. You know? I love Robbie Damon. Huge, huge inspiration for voice acting. I feel like him and... um. At least when I think of like roles that I want to do, Robbie Damon and uh, Max Middleman are two of like the the people that I look at, and I'm like, I want to do roles like those. Um, hearing Robbie Damon's take on a catchy, going from like like the the cool and calculated to like slow descent into insanity, but like they're the insane ones. Not that they went insane; they're already insane and villainous. I love that. And then Max Middleman with like the like um the thug or the delinquent kind of voice. You know? I freaking love it. I try to voice Kane too. He's super fun. Oh, absolutely. The tree is back. Hi, welcome back. Sharky assassin. Wait, who's the shark? Tom Kench? He eats people. He did a good job making me hate a catchy. Me? Oh. That makes more sense. That 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 does makes that makes more sense. Bell, bell, bell. Want to see a thing? Yeah, hit me up. Hit me up. Akito like soup. Thanks for the following. Welcome on. Welcome in. Get on board. Get on board. He did a great job making me hate Akechi for sure. I loved Akechi. Akechi was definitely wrong, but I liked Akechi. My VA voice is very Tom Kench. Tom Kench is fun. I like Tom Kench. And it's not just because he eats people. Okay? <laughs> it's not just because he eats people. Oh, clean. Oh, I want to talk about the details, but I can't. I want to talk about the details, but I can't. Looks clean. Love it. I would, I would say a wooga, but I feel like that doesn't cover it enough. <laughs> I want to say a wooga, but it doesn't cover it enough. That's a bonus. Ah, yes. Of course. I forgot. Everyone's a degenerate here. Everyone's a filthy degen here. 
<laughs> we do we do love our filthy degens. Absolutely. A oh, woogity. There you go. Hot diggity dog. There we go. Listen, I have a very particular set of interests, and you just happen to hit them. That's all I'm saying. You know? Consensually. Respectfully. Uh, same thing with Nagito from Danganronpa. Uh, I love the character, but seeing them makes me fly into a rage. Nagito Komaeda? Oh, I love him. He's such a shithead. You know? He's such a shithead. I love Nagito. I forget who voiced him, though. But I freaking love Nagito. <laughs> you can Nagito? <laughs> give, it, give it a growl, you know? I hit them? Yeah, you do. There's a reason I click show on the... Uh, the, the post on Twitter, you know? Bazinga? Oh, God. Oh, good. We're getting with the, uh... Shit, what's the show called? I already forgot what the show is called. I already forgot what the show is called. Bryce Pappenbrook, dude. Wait, Bryce Pappenbrook was Komaeda? Nagito? Nagito Komaeda. Is he really? Portrayals. It is Bryce? Why do I not remember that being Bryce? Huh? It's okay, I'm attracted to my own VTuber. I mean, that's hot too, you know? It just means you have good taste. Damn, I don't remember him. Maybe it just fit him really well. Like, so, listen, I like Bryce Pappenbrook in specific roles. I like Bryce Pappenbrook as uh, Kirito. What else do I like him? I guess I like him as uh, Nagito. But I don't particularly love him as Eren. I don't particularly love him as uh, Inosuke. Inosuke has grown on me. But for Eren, I think it's just because I, I had in my head what I expected Eren to sound like. But Bryce is a fucking powerhouse. Mad respect for the work that he puts in. He is a powerhouse. His Kirito is so iconic now. Uh, I have not heard his Meliodas from Seven Deadly Sins. Clearly, I liked his Nagito, because I didn't even remember that it was him. I just remembered loving Nagito and it being my favorite character from Super Danganronpa 2. <laughs> it's just my favorite character, and he voiced him, and I didn't even realize. God himself, Liam O'Brien. I do love Liam O'Brien, too. Liam O'Brien's great. No, Bryce, Bryce is, is a freaking powerhouse. Absolutely a powerhouse. I think Bryce does, does very specific roles really freaking well, and he dominates them. You know what I mean? Oh, it shines through in his roles, and sometimes it works well, and other times a bit. Eh. I feel like that happens, though. Like, um, and it's partially me. Like, because I watched Attack on Titan subbed before I watched it dubbed. Uh, and there are some voices that I, that I adore in the, the English dub for, for Attack on Titan. Um, but all in all, every dub that I've watched in the past like decade, they've just gotten progressively better. Whether Bryce was in them or not, dubbing has gotten so much better. Bryce especially. <laughs> but like everybody has just been insanely good. Um, which is crazy to think about. I mean, like I'm getting into voice acting now more as well. Matt Mercer as Levi had me creaming. Oh my god. Um, but Bryce uh, as Kirito. Um, what are really big ones? Obviously, we've got uh, Sayu taking up really big roles like uh, Sino and um, uh, Jing Yuan. Uh, we've got uh, Hayden doing uh, Maiden from Goblin Slayer. We've got uh, freaking Jonah doing uh, Legoshi. You know? A lot, a lot of freaking amazing friends out there doing amazing content. Amazing work. Dubbing in the past decade has been insane. Because it feels like the writing has especially gotten better. Uh, and it's not just like, let's directly translate this. And instead, let's localize this. So like, oh, here's, here's the big one. This is, this is the one where I, where I went uh, dubbing and localization especially has gotten so much better. I was playing Yakuza like a dragon. And it was the, it was the ending. It was the ending scene. It was the ending scene with... Uh, uh, Kaska Ichiban, uh, voiced by uh, Kaiji Tang. And it's this ending monologue where, where uh, Ichiban is asking 
you know, his his spiritual brother, essentially, to to not, you know, go through with his plans and, and everything like that. And the emotion that was there, the writing that was there, I was at that moment, I was like, I don't think I can never just say no to watching a dub ever again, because I don't think I've had a bad experience watching dubs even even if there's like one person i'm like i don't really love this person in this role or or like a, as this character eventually it's grown on me like 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 bryce as um what's his name um inosuke in uh, demon slayer it grew on me i ended up i ended up really liking how bryce uh sounded with it you know he's he's just funny um which i don't i don't have like the reference for it Hey, come on, the Bone Daddy Raid. Hey, welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, Raiders. My name's Roy. I'll be your bunny barista host for today. I specialize in voice acting, and I house this cafe called The Cup of Dusk, where I bring in various content creators from around the internet. We do a bit of improv and hosting chaos. So if that is your cup of tea, or you just want to hang out and listen to us talk about voice acting, League of Legends, uh, or what was the other topic we were talking about? We were talking about spicy art. Yeah, I think we were talking about spicy art as the other one. Any of those topics, well, welcome in. Pull up a chair, kick up your feet. Let's have some fun. How was Remnant 2? My spicy art? Oh, we were talking about spicy art before you rated 2, Silent Bell. <laughs> we were talking about getting me drawn as, um, what's it called? Uh, fairy Skin Ezreal. And I was debating showing like the references for it on stream. And I'm like, I'm going to play it safe and not. Because his, like, his whole like batoks is in there. You know what I mean? It's so damn good, such a worthwhile play. I, I want to give it a go. I was watching my friend uh, Talatora play it the other night. Uh, Remnant 2. But, like, I don't have the money. <laughs> I ain't got the money. So I'm going to throw it in my wish list. I'm going to throw it on my wish list, you know? Yes, I support this. Do you just support me getting more art that objectifies me, Belle? Is that, is that what you want? More, more Roy being objectified in art. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. At least you were honest about it. I appreciate that. Yes. Okay, perfect. Perfect. I just want to make sure we were all on the same page. Just want to make sure. Roy buns are bust. Listen, I'm just saying you can pay for it because you're quite into it. I, whatever you say. I object myself if that's okay. Oh, it's okay. Good. Just want to make sure. Just want to make sure. It's the, it's the, the past time. If you're who is going to really? Hello, VR Blackbird. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, Con. Oh, I mean, we need to get some art, Roy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, say the word. Uh, money is a little tight right now, uh, and I promise it will make sense soon TM as to why it's been tight. But within like the next month or so, I'm going to be like back to like, I'm just making money. Like I'm good. It's just the money that I've been making has been getting immediately funneled back into projects, which I am very hard at work trying to get off the ground. And things like that. And it's not, luckily it's not just being broke. And then it's, uh, I moved and then, you know, I had uh, emergencies with the property that I own uh, and, and stuff like that. So I, I had to like, a lot, lot of money going in and out of places. And I was just like, fuck me, dude. <laughs> fuck me. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, soon, soon. And I mean, like I paid for TwitchCon already too. So that's going to be fun. Getting too much bone marrow again. What the frig? What the frig? But yeah, uh, Colin, just let me know. Also, happy belated birthday. I meant to message you, but every time I checked your, your Twitter page, I didn't see balloons. So I was like, when's your birthday? When was your birthday? Because I saw your mom talking about it. I saw Mama Vale talking about it. I saw Pix talking about it. I saw Nightmare Detective talking about it. Yeah, I was so confused. I was like, oh, is today not his birthday? I don't see a birthday post. So I just didn't say anything because I was like waiting for the actual day. <laughs> and then the day just never came. <laughs> well, happy birthday, Con. Big love. This bunny loves you a lot. This bun loves you a lot. It was the 28th. Shit, yeah, I missed it. My bad, homie. I saw the cupcakes from Pix. I saw the sword from Nightmare. I saw your mom talking about it. You know? Oh, it's all good. Thank God. Uh, why hasn't there been any merch uh, that just says soon TM? There probably is. There probably is. Damn, I, I got to start thinking about merch, too. Oh, I think I think after TwitchCon, I'm going to start thinking about merch. 
Something for like the winter time. Something for like Christmas. Be like, all right, guys. Merch time. Buy my shit as a Christmas present. <laughs> Something like that, right? Roy body pillow? I don't know about that. Would people really want a Roy body pillow? Come on now. Come on now. Do you really want a Roy body pillow? Official Roy T? Roy T? No, I want Roy coffee. It's going on hard way. What's up? Roy plushies? Plushie is hard. Listen, I would love to do a plushie at some point. Doing a plushie at some point would be freaking amazing. I would freaking love to do a Roy plushie. But the problem with doing a plushie is, and I can, I can say this because I've watched it now. I watched Buff do a plushie. I watched, um, I think Mooney did a plushie. And I now watched Basil do a plushie as well. And, and uh, Sino. I mean, sorry, Sino. Sayu do a plushie. And the, the, the whole, like, you have to get a certain amount of pre-orders before it goes through. I have this huge underlying fear that we would not be able to sell enough. I don't think I'm at the size where I could do a plushie. Because, like, I, I would want to get, like, more, more stuff of, like, the, um, uh, of the cafe critters, you know? Which uh, you guys can see on the starting soon. So, like, the blobs, you know, the one I'm squishing between my thighs. That's you guys. You guys are my cafe critters. You guys keep me company in the cafe. And then in the, the BRB screen. Same thing. You guys keep me company in the cafe. You know what I mean? Yeah, the squeesh. Yeah, the squeesh. Or as Vulcan likes to say, that's for the tier three subs. The tier three subs are the ones just chilling on my buns. <laughs> um, I'd love to do like a plushie of that or like art with them to some capacity where I'm like squishing them where it's like cute aggression, but I don't actually like show the aggression. I just am violent towards them. <laughs> a little squish mellow, something like that. Right. The cacafe critters were made out to be a stress ball material. That'd be perfect. That's what I'm saying. I think it would be perfect. You know, I think it'd be super cute. So I think it would be super cute. Um, but yeah, it's been good times. Oh, so we were talking about Remnant 2. Is it like Dark Souls? Is it a Souls-like? I don't know anything about this. I just, I just feel like I saw people playing it and it reminded me of Dark Souls. Is that what it is? Is it Souls-like? Where are the tags? Where are the tags? What is this game like? Uh, Souls-like action adventure RPG Dark. Sounds like a Souls-like to me. Saw a lot of people play it. Seems pretty nifty. Hey, Myra, what's going on? All right, dope. At some point, I would like to play it. Absolutely, absolutely. But yes, uh, lots of ideas for merch in the future. If enough people are interested in a body pillow, I don't see why not. I would have to talk to someone. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really have a merch like peddler right now, unfortunately. God, I don't, f I don't even know who I would work with, honestly. Mm, I'm sure I could find some people to work with for like merch ideas and things like that. But there's a lot of, a lot of things that I have moving right now. And unfortunately, merch is not one of them. Stickers? Absolutely. My name changed. Good to know. Myra? Or is it Mira? Good to know. I don't understand. I'm dumb. You'll have to, you'll have to, you'll have to bear with me. Have I played Devil May Cry? Freaking love DMC. I was I was really hoping that during Summer Games Fest this year, uh, Kdento, uh, that we would get um, Devil May Cry Six announced. Kira, hello, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Only W's, absolutely. Only W's here. Oh, the TwitchCon badges are out. Wait, can I put mine? Can I put mine on? Oh, <gasps> I can't. Wait, I can only have one. I can't have my partner badge. And my. What the frick? Huh? I can't have both. Well, that sucks. Oh, well. Been out for a while now. Well, I do have it. Because I'm going to TwitchCon Vegas. So. My friend said they're going to make a sixth soon. Does your, does your friend work for Capcom? That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Maybe a DMC3 stream? I've beat all the DMCs already. I'm good. I don't need to. I'm good, homie. Playing DMC while I listen to this, hell yeah. 
I'm making a dumb joke because you've been saying Mira uh, this whole time. I don't really care either way. Is it Myra or is it Mira? I actually don't know. Next to be DMCA. Oh my God. <laughs> Never. Really said, nah, I already planned on that. No, definitely not. I ain't planning on it. The, the, the closest I got, Grim Gaming Reaper, thank you for the following. Uh, the closest I got was DMC1. Um, Devil May Cry HD Collection. Um, the closest I got was DMC1. Because I think the only thing that I still had to do, I'm looking at the achievements. Is DMC one. I think I literally just need to beat DMC one on Dante must die mode. I think I literally did everything else. I think I literally did everything else. Except for Twitch Although Vegas is so expensive. My group is making so many plans. I'm probably going to eat on a budget while I'm in Vegas. As, as much as that, that like sucks. I am probably going to eat on a budget. Yeah. Yeah, it's literally beat Dante Must Die mode for DMC1. That's literally it. Uh, that, is, that is all I have to do for DMC1. And DMC1 is finished. Uh, there's, a good, there's a good chunk for uh, two and only a couple for three. Only a couple for three. You know. But I love DMC. I legit thought I followed you like months ago. Well, welcome in. I'm glad to have you here. Thanks for being here. <laughs> we're just vibing we're just talking about games we're talking about fun stuff we're talking about fun art things like that you know how it'd be you know how it'd be love your avatar i appreciate it thank you thank you my friend sims for virgil he made fun of nero even though he looks like v i mean i like nero nero's nero's like my favorite dmc character just because like where where Virgil is the, the cool and calculating and Dante is the snarky jackass and Nero is like the, the thug delinquent. You know, he's also got like, you know, wh uh, quips and things like that. You know, that is the wacky woohoo pizza, man. I love that. I love that lady and Dante is him personally. I mean, Dante will always be good, you know? Nero reminds me of future Gohan. I don't know what capacity. I'll take your word for it. I like wacky woohoo pizza man. They got the lawn chair too. I feel like that's bonus points. True. 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 Gotta, gotta respect the, the lawn chair. <laughs> I am the storm that is approaching. Something like that. That is one handsome man. Agreed. Agreed. There's no just saying. You're right. I say it Mira, but again, I don't really mind. All right, no worries. Papa call be Myra. The whole cooking stream. I got you. Nero got his arm snatched from. Oh my god. No. He's got a cool, fancy new arm. Virgil's the one exception to the rule where playing the badass boss character feels like he got nerfed. Oh, yeah, because they give you, like, four weapons, like, right away. They're like, here's, here's Yamato with extra swords and your, your other gear. Your, like, gauntlets and shit. That's good. I should really finish DMC5. You should. Like, DMC5 is the best of the franchise. It goes DMC5, 3, 4, 1, 2. And that's a good thing. The fact that DMC5 is the best of the franchise is fantastic. Is fantastic. It's so good that the most recent game is the best in the franchise. It's why I really need to go back and play uh, Final Fantasy 16. I really, really need to play and finish Final Fantasy 16. I got like, I think halfway through. Or maybe like a third of the way through. And I just got busy. You know what I mean? I will finish it at some point. Me waiting for 16 PC release. I think it's going to be like another year. Dean Lynn, hello! FF16 is amazing. I really, really want to finish it. I, I can't really say where I am without spoiling anything, unfortunately. 
Uh, but I'm I loved I loved what I played of 16 so far. You know, absolutely. If Ninja Theory DMC game not considered canon, no, no, it is not. Started playing it around the time Bayo 3 came out, and I just never got back to it. Oh, DMC 5? Yeah, I can imagine that. I adore 14, so we're excited for 16. I love 14 as well. I am uh, I'm in the middle of Endwalker. Like, middle of Endwalker, like, base game. Not post-game yet, so... <laughs> oh, my God. Dante is not canon, thankfully. I actually like DMC 2013, so... <laughs> I know I'm a, a rare breed when it comes to, like, why could you possibly like that? Where's your motivation? I'm motivated now. We don't talk about the reboot? I mean, we can. Reboot was not that bad. I think reboot gets shit on for, for not fair reasons. Because, like, a lot of people, like, forget that it's, like, really young Dante. Like, really young Dante. You know? Where we must fight again? In what? In Street Fighter 6? I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm motivated now. Hey, Blurry Face, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. But yeah, excited for TwitchCon uh, Vegas. It's gonna be fun. He's rapidly approaching, sprinting even. Yeah. Absolutely, I'm on my way. <laughs> yeah, TwitchCon Vegas is gonna be fun. Um, it's going to be nice seeing friends. It's going to be nice having what feels like uh, a vacation. You know what I mean? I am very much looking forward to it and seeing uh, what I can uh, do. Uh, but especially because I don't have the, the, the living situation fiasco that I had last time. So like I'm rooming with uh, Vil and Ava this year. Which is great. I'm friends with both of them. Uh, I've roomed with uh, Vil already. He's who I roomed with at Offkai. Ava is obviously a good friend of mine as well. I'm so... God, I'm so glad to know, like, I have a place to say. Oh, thank God. Can I ask for a ballpark of the cost of your VTuber model? Oh, God. Um... Like six grand? I feel like that's right. Six grand? Something like that? Something like that, I think. Yeah? But, like, that's just the model. Remember. Yeah, that's just the model. How many macchiatos did that take? A lot. <laughs> In DMC5, I never thought I would laugh at Dante when I'm not at my best day. True. I always forget how costly models are. I mean, so the thing that, the thing that I remember is, like, content creation is a job. I am treating this like a job in the sense of I am investing in a tool for myself. In the same way that I spent good money on a computer, I would spend good money on a model and rigging. Um, because they are tools for me to be able to entertain people, you know, um, just like the stuff that I have coming up that I can't wait to show you guys, you know, how'd you come up with your VTuber character concept? Uh, a lot of it was working with Siege, uh, Siege and Yagi. Um, we really just kind of sat down cause I was like, Hey, I want to kind of go more femboy. Um, actually it kind of started as a joke. Uh, cause like Roy Zoga or Roy 2.0, uh, was, much more like himbo-esque. So like I had muscles. I had like, I, I play a little bit into the stupidity and like the shouting and everything like that. And the, the kindness, uh, mu much more like twunk, uh, or, or slightly beefier than a twunk is, is like the right way of saying it. <clears throat> um, but I, I, I jokingly said to siege one of the first times that I met her, I was like, Oh, imagine if I was a femboy and, uh, she she like jokingly drew me as it, and then I was like, "Oh, I I really like that." And then I turned it into, "Okay, well let's let's like expound on that and see like what we can do." And eventually, it got to a point where I was like, "Damn, I just really like how this looks. Let's go with it." You know, the Roy Chiato Awakening. It's yeah, uh, that was like 
God, that was like a year ago. Yeah, uh, actually coming up on a year of when Roy Chiotto first started getting drafted. Because like that was like August of last year is when uh, that all started getting put together. You know? <laughs> uh, yep, thank you so much for the uh, follow. Welcome in. The Virgin Killer sweater sketches. I still have those. Yeah, I still have them. I still have a couple pieces that I think I never released. Because I'm like... They're like really spicy. And I'm like, I don't. I don't know if I want to post like close to NSFW on main that Siege did. You know what I mean? I was waiting on that chain one to release to show a friend. Yeah, that's the one that I haven't released. I think that's literally the only one I didn't release, Vulcan. I think it's the only one I didn't release. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm I'm fairly certain it's the only one I didn't end up releasing. Let's uh let's look. I can't watch Siege. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that is literally the only one. Yeah. That is quite literally the only one that uh, did not get released. And unfortunately, it is very much an NSFW drawing that I cannot post on main. Or at least I would have to, like, build up the courage to post it on main kind of thing. You know? I still remember it very well. Hey, I'll take your word for it. I will take your word for it if you remember it that well. <laughs> There's another place to put it. Oh, my God. I hate it here. I'm screaming geometrically. I hate it. I absolutely hate it here. <laughs> uh, but no, it's been fun. Uh, I I really like doing these like uh these like catch up just chatting streams. I know I like I did the the poll of do you guys want me to switch to league? I'll play league right now. You know. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm I have fun with these streams. Uh, they're they're nice to be able to catch up and um. I mean, second week in a row of me doing kind of like the, hey, I just don't feel like planning anything crazy, you know, uh, where I, I think if you literally look at my schedule for this week, it's uh, yesterday was bun activities. So on the fly, I played league with Papa Mud and Valak Tide. And then today is bun fun. We're just chatting. Uh, might play Minecraft tomorrow. I haven't played Minecraft yet this week, and I, I want to make progress on the house and jump back into Balance SMP. So tomorrow might be a Minecraft stream. I'll see if Vol's around, uh, if, if she wants to play uh, Minecraft with me uh, and make pro uh, progress on making the cafe and bounce. Uh, and then Thursday is last cafe stream. So it's like, I'm kind of just like, hey, unless it's a big event, I'm kind of like, let's just do whatever. Let's have fun. Let's not stress too much. Let's just make fun content and enjoy ourselves instead of stressing about sticking to a letter. You know what I mean? Yep, last cafe stream. All right, listen. Um, I was genuinely pissed off about this, you know? I was genuinely pissed off about this, you know? So I mentioned this during, during like, my, my schedule post. I said, this week is the last cafe stream. While this might seem like sad news, I promise it's for a good reason. There's a big change coming. I can't wait to share it with you all. More news soon. And then I put out the tweet today, which I will play the audio for. I'll play the audio for in a second. But I, I literally said in the tweet, this Thursday, 8 p.m. CST is my final cafe night stream. Thank you uh, to everyone that's made the past year and a half such an amazing success. But it's time to evolve my content into something more. And then I asked for people that were interested uh, to come to the cafe. And I'm going to I'm going to turn down my music a little bit here. But this is this is what I said for the video. Ready? Hey, everyone. Roy here. The past two months since debut have been amazing, but also confusing or completely hectic. And while I'm proud of the progress that's been made, there's always new and exciting projects to be explored. That being said, this coming Thursday will be the end of my cafe night stream. Which I said. In lieu of something bigger. Bigger. The cafe itself isn't leaving, and I'll always be your barista. There's just more coming. Think of this as an evolution, and a positive one at that. See you Thursday. So literally, it's the cafe is just changing into something else. Like the cafe streams. This cafe, this setting is not going anywhere. 
this will still be here. I'm still gonna be in my in my barista outfit. I'm still gonna be hanging out with you guys in this capacity. Literally, I spelled it out black and white. It's just these like the cafe night streams where I bring on a guest is changing into something else. And people were replying to this thread like, you're not graduating, are you? Like, where are you going? Like, what do you mean? Like, I can't believe the Cafe Nights are leaving. I had people DMing me. And I was like, homie, like, listen to the video. It's so clear cut. It's so clear cut. I was, getting, I was starting to get frustrated. I was starting to be like, you just didn't listen to the video. I literally explained it. Cafe is not going anywhere. My my barista uh, aesthetic and, and coffee vibes and cafe vibes not going anywhere. It's just instead of cafe streams, it's going to be something else. You know, graduating from cafe to fast food chain. I'm so glad you spoiled it for everybody. Thanks elsewhere. Thank you. I knew I could count on you for something. <laughs> Buzzing bees. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, also, changeling wizard. Thanks for the first time chat. Welcome in. But no, I'm like, I'm like literally like looking at the people like responding and they're all just like, you know, where are you going? Like, what's happening? Are you graduating? I'm like, what the fuck, man? Whomst? Whomst the fuck? I never said anything about that. I'm literally staying here. Can it be Krispy Kreme? I need more donuts? Bro, I could go for a donut right now, dude. Let me tell you. Pfft. Homie. Let me freaking tell you. Oh, also, I think I'm going to upgrade the chat box because Yagi and I were talking about this one. This one broke. So like you can see like a couple people's names just didn't show up and there's this giant gap on the right hand side. I'm going to talk to Yagi uh, in the next day or two. Uh, I think after the cafe stream uh, about getting like an updated chat box for this. Probably the one that I used for, for YouTube because uh, it's just it, the simplicity of it. It's fun. You know, I'll go for an ice cream shake. I could go for some carrot cake, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Donuts for you. Good, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. I can't believe Roy is getting evicted from the cafe. I gotta pay the rent. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm building another layer on top of the, the building the cafe is in. We're going to the, oh my God. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, God. Hi, Beru. Free coffee for a week? I wish. Oh my god, free coffee sounds pretty good right about now. Free coffee sounds pretty good. I got you, you did! I wasn't expecting it! Thanks for the 200 bits, though. I do appreciate that. Absolutely. Hi, Beru. Honestly, with the number of demonic packs he made, uh, can he afford to give it up? No, that was Roy Zoga. See, I'm Roy Kiato. Mmm. Completely different person. There's no demonic packs for me. There's no, there's no, there's no demonic packs for me. I'm doing well, Baru. How about you? Hope you're kicking lots of butt. Hope you're kicking lots of butt. Yet? No. Listen, I have lore written out. If I ever decide to make a lore video or like something really fancy, which I would really love to do for like a one year anniversary at this point. For this model, especially, you know, contract technicalities, how you beat the devil. Oh, my God. Hot or iced coffee? Both. I'll, I'll drink both regardless of what the temperature is outside. Doesn't Red still own the cafe or is it just the old building? That's the old building. Uh, pull up the devil's block. I don't, what are you guys even talking about? This is my building. I own this whole building. It's very expensive, but I own it. I'll eat super ice cream regardless of the weather outside. Oh, yeah. 100% agree. Same with hot chocolate, you know? I'm doing much better. Finally, something on my portfolio. Hey, congratulations. That's awesome, Baru. I will eat... Oh, my God. The sharding. The sharding starts again. I will eat soup in the summer and ice cream in the winter. Fight me. No, I agree with you. I would do the same. I would absolutely do the same. I will not eat sharding. I hope not. I certainly hope you won't. My good sir. <laughs> my good sir. Oh, my God. Right when I walk in, it's bound to happen, you know? I didn't do anything. It's the Shart Monarch. They're back. They're here to ruin the night. You know, we've had such a nice night together, and the Shart Monarch is here just to ruin everything. We've just been vibing, thriving, surviving, talking with one another, you know? Can't believe this. Can't believe this. 
I guess you guys just don't want, you know, art of me being objective. Dicks! See? Literally cut me off. Literally cut me off. I couldn't even see. I couldn't even speak. I couldn't even speak. You guys just don't want art of me being objectified. You know, that's why Vulcan screamed dicks. Because he agreed. You know? What is only buns? <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You know? God, the dicks are back. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I can't believe they're back. Hell yeah, I agree. Damn. Do you plan on continuing rain code at any point? I don't know. I think I'm just gonna play that off stream. Um, one of my one of my big draws and and wants for playing that game was so that I could voice act in it and voice act every line like I was treating it like Ace Attorney. But unfortunately, the game is entire. Well, I guess fortunately, uh, the game is almost entirely voice acted, uh, which ruins kind of the point of what I wanted to do. And makes me want to just listen more and be quiet, which doesn't make for good content. Uh, so I think it's just going to be one of those things that I kind of just, I just enjoy for myself. You know, I prefer Bunsley, to be honest. Fair, fair, fair. Moan for a hundred dono. Make it 150. Make it a hundred and, wait, wait. What's fire? Uh, make it 30 gift subs instead. They get 30 gift subs instead. 200? Uh, there you go. Listen, pay up. Let's see that money. I'll spend that money on... You, you know what? That's a good question. Have you checked your butthole today? Homie, pay up. <laughs> I mean, I certainly hope so. Sold? Hand it over? I'd wait for the dono. Nah, listen. I'm sorry, buddy, but uh-oh. Look, they're backing out. Look, it only took... That was it. Man, I can't believe this. Shit, man. You think you can trust your own chat. You think you can trust people. But it's just, you know... I kind of just scammed you, easy GG, pal. Fuck. You know, that's crazy. Red Riding Hat, thanks for the seven months. Thank you for, is it a hype train? Thank you for the hype train as well. It's okay, you learn from your mistakes. What mistake? Was there a mistake? I don't think there was a mistake. Chi Chi with the 15 months. Chi Chi, I actually keep meaning to talk to you and like actually like say like, hey Chi Chi, I'm learning how to sing. I hope I can have you listen to it at some point. <laughs> Chi Chi, I hope you've been well. Yeah, I've been learning how to sing. Yeah. Yeah, I've been I've been learning in secret. I've been I've been learning in secret. No, I, I'll have to I'll have to be in a call with you. I don't want to sing the song yet that I'm learning because I want it to be a surprise when it's done. You know, that's why you make people pay first. Nah, I mean that's whatever. I don't really give a fuck. We're all just having a good time here. If the person doesn't want to pay, they can just, you know, we just ostracize them, kick them out of the community for not paying when they said they would because they're a liar. Would you do that? Would you go on the internet and just tell lies? Uh, but Chi Chi, I can DM you real quick though. Uh, learning slash learned how to sing. Almost said it. Good chart. Didn't catch me off guard, though. I was ready. Whew. There we go. Send it your way, Chi-Chi. I do that as a hobby. What, moan or sing? I've never told a lie in my life. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. I used to think I could sing, but after watching a ton of bad American Idol auditions, I'm glad I never put myself out there. Sometimes you need to though, because like if you don't, if you don't realize that you're not doing well, sometimes you don't think about looking for um, improvement or ways to get better. You know what I mean? Sometimes it happens like that. Sometimes it just happens like that. I'm physically vibrating. I'm glad you're excited. Do you know the song, Chi Chi? Do you know the song? That's the question. I hope so. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my gosh. I'm really excited. I'm just excited that I've been able to kind of like keep it under wraps. Like I mentioned that I've been taking singing lessons and everything like that, but I've not once let slip what song that I've learned. So I'm actually technically moving on to my second song, which is cool, but I still need to technically record the first song. So. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, but thank you guys for being here. And thank you again for the level two hype train. Uh, thank you for all the uh, the bits and subs tonight and for hanging out and vibing and thriving and surviving. If you guys stuck around from any of the raids, uh, I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you sticking around and um, get out just having a good night. Uh, like I said, I, I've been trying to do more of these kind of like shoot the shit streams and just, you know, talk and vibe and see how the community's going and catch up with everybody. I agree. I was mid sentence. Couldn't get me that time. I was fucking ready. Thank you for the 200 bits. Now I do appreciate those. Um, I was, uh, I I'm enjoying these, these catch ups, you know, uh, the, the chill vibes are really good. Uh, and I like being able to kind of be like, Hey, here's stuff that we have planned for this week. Or here's what happened last week. Or here's what's happening in my, my, my work week. Or here's a project that I'm working on or, you know, whatever else. Oh, and now that it's August again, uh, I can start the, the ASMR, uh, role play voice acting, uh, again. Uh, so if you guys haven't already checked it out, uh, check out my voice acting channel, a uh, cup of dusk voices, uh, where you'll be able to, uh, find not only my professional demo reel, but some, uh, ASMR that I've done already. Uh, and there should be a second one coming out this month. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully is the keyword. <laughs> I'm excited to hear more from that. We're going to see what we can do. We've got some plans. You know, we've got some, we've got some plans. We've got some ideas. We've got some, uh, some big, some big stuff to do for the future. So I just got to, uh, I got to see, uh, when people are free, when people are able to, 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 to do things. We just merely vibing, excited for more Roy SMR. <laughs> Something like that, right? Something like that. Hmm. So, uh, but I do think uh, that is going to do it for me tonight. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me uh, throughout the entirety of tonight. It has been uh, a blast to just hang out and shoot the shit and just do nothing. I guess is like the best way of putting it. Um, yeah, yeah, let me find someone to raid. Let me find someone to raid real quick. Um, let's see. Why don't we go ahead and send some love over to who's just doing some vibing? Oh, do you guys know Boo? Do you guys know Boo the rat? Do you guys know Boo? Boo the rat. Uh, Boo is a uh, a rat witch VTuber. Uh, they are playing through uh, Cult of the Lamb, which is awesome. They're hilarious. They do great art, I think. Wait, do they do art, actually? No, I'm not sure. Wait, am I crazy? Do they do art themselves? Have I seen them do art? No, I can't remember. Either way, every conversation I've ever had with them, freaking amazing. I believe so. That's why I'm like, shit. I'm not just thinking about Basil, right? Boo has done art as well, right? <laughs> anyway, guys, if you want to participate in the raid, be sure to use the first raid command. If you're not a sub, you want to participate, be sure to use the secondary raid command. Uh, raid two, like that. Uh, I'm sure they both do. I'm sure. Absolutely. But regardless, uh, Boo is an amazing content creator all in their own right. They're playing through uh, Cult of the Lamb. They are absolutely hilarious and unhinged a lot of the time. Let's go send them some hype, some love, and some uh, good vibes. Guys, I will see you uh, tomorrow for maybe Minecraft, I guess. Unless something comes up and I need to take the night off uh, to work on other content, which could happen. But either way, guys, I will see you tomorrow, probably. And if not then, then I'll see you Thursday for the last cafe night. Bye-bye, everybody.